good old bonk to start off the day. Now you get your adrenaline running. What's up, Floor Dick? He is back, the myth, the legend, the one and only TFR underscore. TFR underscore? TFR, not even R. I my yai yai yai. Pirate doesn't even have respect. Always trying to do better, Mr. Floornick. Always trying to do better. Yo, I did 14 setups today. We're, we're, we're climbing stonks. And then my abs cramped. <laughs> mm, now. Nah. Maybe I'll run today, too. <clears throat> I think running would be fun. Yeah. A little bit of running here. Good morning, Vertibalk. How's it going, dude? When you want to get off ground. Ah, think about it. I wonder if my stream crashing yesterday ruined some, like, uh, view streaks. It probably did. Uh, view... Start doing some work as well, just so allergic to the pollen allergies. Uh, I just do some stuff at home first. I'm just prepping, dude. I might actually start running instead of biking early. I'm not too particularly sure just yet. I'm kind of excited. It's just I have so much, um, I don't know. I feel like I haven't been playing games after stream lately. So I mean, I'll just sit there and just look at stuff. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should be more productive with my life. I should go out and probably run at least one lap or two. I probably can only make one lap. I'm, I'm 260 pounds after all. I'm a little, a little bit heavy. It's hard if you cannot breathe properly. Yeah, just do some stuff at home. Get some sit-ups and push-ups and crunches, some ab workout routine. I want to try to remember a lot of my trap uh, track ab routines that I can follow. Unless the pollen enter your house too, then that's really unfortunate then. Oh my God, swimming's great, dude. Yo, no, no, highly recommend swimming. Do you have like a local YMCA or gym that you can go to that you can actually go swimming? How do I get a key for this game? Let's take a look here. I wonder if uh, I got an email for this game. I probably did. Let's see if I can snag myself a key. I'm going to check out because, uh, dude, the cutscene that started when I launched this game was actually uh, was absolutely captivating. Ah, yes, request a key. I'm an idiot. There it is. Uh, when was this email? January 9th. Um, holy shit, that was a while ago. Wait, I can just get a key right now then. Request a key. Oh, the sign up form is still up. There's a mystery. Oops. Number of subscribers or followers? Did I just break a new record? Actually, let me double check. Oh, they're actually actually asking for the subscriber. Twenty-three thousand three hundred. Okay. 23,300. Region. United States of the Americans. <laughs> Primary key platform? Steam. Secondary key platform? Steam. <laughs> it may run out of the key. Well, I only have Steam. When will you provide coverage? A rough estimate is totally fine. Um, I think I'm late to this sign up, but uh, peace. I'm pretty fucking late to the sign up. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this Google form is no longer like um valid or something. I would love to get the full key for this game. Because apparently they sent me like two fucking males. Lamel. 
13 days ago was the most recent one. Full game keys will be sent over the next few weeks. Uh, let me know if you end up checking out the Twitch integration. There's Twitch integration? Oh my god, there's Twitch integration. There, there's battle in this game. Nice. Viewers can spawn raids from any of the in game factions. Viewers can force the outcome of the choice you receive from random encounters. Interesting. Game with Twitch integration already? There really are no limits. I think I'm liking what I'm looking at for combat right now. What's up, Matson? How's it going, dude? Good morning. Y'all got a swimming all? Yo, dude. Fucking take advantage. You living next to a park with a swimming hole. Take advantage of that. Dude, I would love to have like a swimming uh, a swimming pool right next to my uh, house just so I can, you know, swim. <laughs> do some swimming lessons. I, I do live next to a college. Maybe I can try to get access there. A college community, if they have a swimming pool there, but I highly doubt it. So yeah, oopsie. Yeah, I, I forgot that he sent me an email um, for Bulwark, and I didn't get it. But we're gonna try out the demo today and see how far we can get. Uh, otherwise, maybe try to snag herself an early key. Maybe they'll send me a key like immediately after or some sort. I, I don't really particularly know just yet, but I would love to get in, like an early access key or some sort here. Uh, if I'm planning on streaming this game for the long run. Otherwise, if we don't get a key in the meantime, and we're just going to be playing the demo. Um, that means we're going to be finishing the demo and then probably moving to a different game. I don't know yet. Uh, so today, uh, let's take a looky looky. Let's take a little looky looky. I want to share a little background for you folks. All right, here it is. So we today our plan is to stream the Bulwark Falconer Chronicles. It is a city builder. Uh, with it's, it's a very how do I say island centric type of city builder that's not relative to Anno series whatsoever. It has its own unique, different type of city building. I don't particularly know how it would work, so that's why we're trying out the game to see what the city building is like. Uh, it does have a lot of combat. If you want to take a look at the trailer before we start the game, we sure can. Um, and next is probably going to be Championship here. Championship is another roguelike, action roguelike that we will be checking out. I have the full version uh, right here as we speak, uh, as thanks to Boostin or Phoenix, who has gifted me the game. It's like $5 on Steam anyways, but... Yeah, we'll probably be playing seven dollars. Seven dollars on Steam. We'll probably be playing this later. It is very action centric. It's a roguelike as well, so a lot of people may, may particularly like it. I don't know if it's a roguelite with better progression, so we'll probably find out on that later. But uh, I forgot about this game. Like I wanted to play this, and I completely forgot about it. They sent me an email. I also forgot about it. I'm really bad at managing my email because there's so many things to do right now. Um, man, I would love to have a manager, if possible, of anything else, but. I just have a manager, but let's take a little looky look at their uh, trailer real quick before we hop into the game pile. It's like steampunk style, which is my type of style for any games, really. I love steampunk. I think, it was, I think it's one of my favorite settings in relatively any game that we played. That's why I like their building so much, because it offers a steampunk vibe. Not a boy, only does enter the woman's locker room. Um, yeah, that's a crime. Uh, looks like a bit fantasy steampunk. I like it. Same, dude. It's looking pretty good. So you build your uh, city on top. Oh my god. All right, so you can build a metropolis on an island. That seems like pretty awesome. You can build bridges between each island. Ooh. I don't know why, but this design kind of reminds me of the Venti from Rise of Nations, Rise of Legends. This really does give me Venti vibes. Holy shit. Hundred thousand new citizens now working together. No, it's kind of reassuring that I'm not looking at random civilians doing random things on the city because that's a lot of like stuff to look at in the middle. Oh my fucking tits, dude. Holy shit, dude. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Frostbuck too, except on an island. That is one huge, huge city. Cooperation? Ew. Cooperation through force. Whoa. Is that like a force field that keeps the water from entering the city? How do we already have reviews? The game's not even out yet. <laughs> Just kidding. That's how it works. I like the music so far, too. But yeah, that, that's basically Bulwark. The trailer could have been better to make it a little bit more captivating, but it is what it is. Ooh. Looks like there's a little technology tree to look through. 
standard technology tree. There's a soul tree, whatever the fuck you want to call that. Big boy ships that you can utilize. Sail ships that you can utilize. I think there's like air and sea combat. And you have different uh, factions to fight against. D okay, so it does have some uh, Anno 1800 vibes here. There's trade routes, I believe. Very interesting. Okay, I would definitely love to have a key for this uh, game. Um, But uh, I already sent them an email. Not an email, sorry. I should send them an email. You know what? Fuck it. Give me a second. I'm going to send an email real quick uh, while we wait. Give me a second, guys. I'm stalling. I'm stalling real quick because I, I don't want to miss out on this. And I'll, I'll definitely forget again. They did send me an email on this. I'll reply and see if I can try to snag myself a key. Uh, if I can, I already signed up. But let's take a looky look. It's 13 days, right? 13 days late. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Bull walk. Obviously, I'm not going to share my screen while I'm sending out an email. Um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure they, they might have ran out of keys by now because there's gonna be a lot of people streaming this game tomorrow. Uh, hey, doing well. I would love to receive a key for Bulwark. You're gonna call it Bulwark? What is it? Falconeer's Dream or some shit? Falconeer. Hmm. Got the game name. Falconeers Chronicle. Chronicle. Chronicles. Uh, it looks something right out of my alley for genocide. Sorry, sorry, not genocide. Uh, I mean, um, for a proper, not for a proper, for a creative uh, city builder with action elements. It really looks interesting. I will be trying out the demo first to see the base mechanics. Okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, well, there it is. There it is a little uh, key request and whatnot. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Show but, us yeah. your scamming techniques of how you send your emails. <laughs> Dude. I just try to keep it simple, straightforward. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hope you're having a good day. Can I have this key? Thanks. Bye. All right. Good night. You know, then I send them my, I mean, they've been reaching out to me. They know what I am capable of being a consecrator for them. So honestly, that, that would probably help quite a bit. Um, yo, what's up, Cubs Gaming? How's Bad Monk treating you, by the way? You feeling any better? Also, how's your leg? Hopefully your legs is also doing pretty better too. Vibration in this economy. This game has controller support, which I saw. Unrestricted V-Sync. Uh, I would like to keep V-Sync off, if possible. Shadow, let's go ahead and turn that down. I'm not a shadow type. I'll, I'll go with medium shadow. Post-processing, let's go with medium there. I don't know how bad my frame rate's gonna get with this game. It doesn't look like my PC's dying at the beginning of the screen so far, which is typically always a good sign. You know that Monster Domain, the game that we played yesterday? I went to the main menu screen and my, my computer started screaming. So like, uh, yeah, so I'm glad that we started off with V-Sync here. They actually give a shit about our hardware for once. Um, faction color, blue. Hmm. I'm gonna go with black. That's how. That's how. That, that, that's the color of my soul. All right, guys. The color of our soul, black, uh, with a white skull on top. Hello, Cat Meets Evil. Good morning, Dorak. Good morning, uh, Vertibok. Good morning, Tas Maidar. Good morning, uh, guys. Good morning, Matson. Hope you guys are doing well. Good morning, Floornig. Happy Monday. Another day watching Tactical Fried Rice, another game going to wish list. God dang it, I'm making all of my viewers poor. God damn it. Should it be yellow? Yellow? <laughs> Some uh, infection is somewhat better, was extremely miserable over the weekend. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, dude. Uh, needs to be more realistic with the infection. Well, at least you're getting it treated now, so the good thing for that. I hope you feel better over the weekend, we, uh, Cuff. Gonna keep check, uh, getting it checked out and whatnot. I remember trying to get into the demo of this, but so confused I couldn't even play it. Well, you're also in pain, too. Mixed with Bioshock. Okay, Bioshock's a good one, just because Bioshock also gives a little bit of steampunk vibes. Yo, what's up, PT Break? Good morning, dude. Hope you're doing well. Happy, happy Monday. Man, I know I'm stalling, but... Dude. 
I took it. Okay, so what's weird yesterday was I was trying to sleep early again. I tried to sleep around like 8 or 9 p.m. It was 9 p.m. yesterday this time. I drank a little bit of beer because there's one bottle left in the. It's not beer. It's like some kind of flavor so, uh, soda beer thing. I don't know. There's like alcohol in it, obviously. And I was drinking it. I was like, okay, maybe this will help me sleep a little bit. So I drank one of those bottles and I took a sleeping aid and my eyes were wide awake when I laid down. I was like, Dude, I stayed up until 1 a.m. in the morning today, in bed, just laying down, staring at the ceiling the entire time, and then I passed out, and I had a nightmare. My nightmare was very similar to this uh, show called From. From. If you, if you ever watched From. I never watched the, I, I never even watched the TV show yet. It's just I watch clips on YouTube, and I'm getting nightmares of From. Uh, my roommate... Got fucking clobbered to death, clawed to death, and then um, I was I closed the door, and they were trying to open the door, and we were just swinging it back and forth, and then my alarm woke me up, and I was like, oh my god, bro, what the fuck is happening? I was like, oh god, it's 5 a.m. in the morning, I only had four hours of sleep. Yeah, the smiling guy, yeah, dude, it was some creepy ass shit, man. What's up, Kona? I hope you're doing well today. Happy Mondays. Cider, dude. Wait, does Cider help you sleep, Uber? Uber? I don't know anything about cyber whatsoever. Huh? What do you mean, huh? There's nothing suspicious about the stream. I haven't became DGen yet. I mean, speaking of DGen, dude, I watch a lot of VTubers, and there's definitely more V... D I, I thought I was pretty bad just saying the most random garbage on stream, and then I watch VTubers just going straight up full DGen and, like, all horny and shit. And I'm like, yeah, goddamn, dude. What is going on? I never thought it would be this bad. In his dream of leaving him to die, coward. Yo, what's up, Zeon? How's it going, dude? Good morning. We're back at it today with some city builders, guys. Oh my god. Man, when was the last time we played an actual proper city builder? Dude, it's been a long time, hasn't it, man? Guys, it's, it's been so long since we played a proper city builder. And when I saw this game, I was like, wait a minute. This could be the next Anno. Because I played a lot of Anno in the past. Flashes the stream whenever he can. What, like Gondor calls for aid type of flash? Or we talk about flashy flash? Did I try Ratopia yet? Yeah, I have. It sucks. <clears throat> Didn't like it. Dude, their combat mechanic, their invasion mechanic is one of the most retarded. Sorry, I, I, I'm not allowed to say that word, but I'm trying to make myself not say that word. It is their mechanic is questionable. How do I, how do they how do they get through with hey, let's spawn mobs in the middle of base because why the fuck not? And you know what? Let's spawn a shit ton of them on the higher difficulty scale in the middle of base. And I just sit there. And I'm looking at this building called Barricade. I'm like. So, I see a barricade, I place that down, oh, wait a minute, they're in the royal room, what the fuck? Well, what's the point of putting down a barricade if it's not gonna do its job? You have to hire, you know, combat rats, which I see get clobbered anyways. I feel like the game just had horrible game designs. Otherwise, I like their, I like their economy system. I think their economy system was insanely good. Like, ass flash, oh, I see, you mean thigh flashes? Sorry, I'm not ass, I'm never horny. Before I invade? Yeah, but the thing about invasions that you typically need to, like, is having them spawn inside your base is one of the most unfun fun thing that they have ever done. What is this, fucking RimWorld where enemies burrow into your base or uh, launch from the sky into your base? No, it ain't. No, they just have random spawn all over your base, so it's like fucking pure of chaos. Like, it's just chaos, 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 chaos. That's it. That's, there's nothing else uh, with it. Also, their um, their um, their game stage me uh, system wasn't really that good either. It looks fun with the monster. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to play it. I think that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be really, really fun. The chaos is fun. It is. Now you disable the tunnel. Wait, on the Rimworld, or are we talk about the other game? Did someone say, Hunter, <laughs> are you poggies? Oh, god damn it. Is that poggers or poggies? How did poggers became? It's poggies. Okay, so I'm so used to poggers, not poggies, but oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah, there's a Twitch thing too. I'm not gonna enable it. I mean, Ratopia, but I want to see what the base game is like first before we start here. So, if you guys don't know what Bulwark is, well, it is a city builder. 
to start off with. It's a city builder. You start on an island with some kind of ship, and then you start building a city. That's typically as it goes. Now, there's also factions that you have to fight off against or create diplomacy. Uh, don't really know exactly what type of faction you're fighting against just yet, but this game is more of a build-your-own-story type of city builder, which I am heavily looking forward to. That's what they're trying to advertise as, as at least. Yo, what's up, Brock? What's up, man? Ty? How's it going, dude? Good morning, guys. Good morning. New, what's up? Good morning, guys. How's it going? Welcome to the channels. Welcome back. You're not missing anything just yet. We're about to start soon, though. Um, the reason why I'm stalling is to have as much people here to catch the beginning of the game before we start the actual game. Not to mention, I like talking to you guys for a little bit, too, before we actually start the gameplay here. But I think we're going to try to limit down to... We're already at 24 minutes, five, six more minutes of stalling, and then we can finally start, Yeah. Sounds good, sounds grandy. The memory hole that, uh... Broke Asian guy that was Pogger. <laughs> I thought I was rich, though, was it not? I hope it's not a shitty builder. From what I've seen so far, Proka, it looks... Hiya. Appetizing. It looks like, uh, it definitely looks appetizing. You see some really huge cities in the trailer. Proxy Life, good morning! Happy Monday! You rage and wishing to love on hamster? Well, my hamsters are dead. Both of them are dead. So, uh, yeah. Don't don't expect hamster stuff anymore. Um, but, yeah. We are expecting... What I'm looking forward to is the, um, the, 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 the military design of this game. Definitely military design. I think one of the very first things that caught my attention when I was looking at the uh, the beginning cinematic of this game was the fact that there was a knight riding some kind of bird. And I was like, wait, there's actual air combat. There's actual air combat. But but I want to trigger you. This is, the, <laughs> this, this is the triggering way of getting Cat Meets Evil to stay in the stream. It's like, start the game already, you bastard. All right. Well, <clears throat> since chat actually did slow down a little bit, we can actually start the game now. All right, guys. You guys ready? I know I am. Let's begin. This is a demo after all. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Okay. a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever-expanding set of encounters. How the fuck does that work? Base a, a, a resource system based on distance. Lock for demo, you bastard. A word of advice. Click and build everywhere okay there are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where and how but what things to spiral out of control the game it's about experimenting so don't be afraid and go wild i like how he has to remind me he's like just have fun with the game idiot stop fin maxing i was like okay fine Failure. all right let's see your free house value prosperity stability and growth they want to rebuild desiring only peace faction leaning the free house starting location new haven starting extractors one of each extractor range high hostile encountered enabled raids Hiya. enabled resource depletion enabled resource depletion in my city builder how dare you? During the War of the Tree. The War of the Tree. Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Reedy. Good fuck them all. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after Survival of Fittest. We took what we had in order to resettle in peace. Peace. The Disgusting. I want a game like Dune. Because on our backs, the past was killed. I like the feudal system. I hope this game follows like some kind of feudal system. It really does feel like it, except on an ocean world this time. Dark Merla, what's up, dude? Good morning. The visual? The visual looks relatively calming. That's what I like at the moment. All right, flying your surveyor, developing a command tower, exploring the open world. Welcome to the game's map, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is Devil Limit? 3 out of 25. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. All right. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. Okay. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get into the combat for demo. Uh, use RMB to rotate the camera around while the selected building. Yada, yada. There's my wood mill right there. All right. There's my mouse. I was looking for a mouse somewhere. Uh. So you're supposed to connect the uh, outpost to the wood mill. Did, did I place that? 
is missing access to workers. Mm hmm. What, what do you want me to do about it? What, what do I get workers? Move the cursor towards the outpost until it snaps from blinking orange. Okay, and then press L and B to select the outpost. What a what a weird uh, road system so far. Is this the road system? Okay, done. So what's next? Are you fucking joking? Use the mouse to you move your cursor. Move the cursor towards what? Until it snapped, then press space to- oh. Dude, I was left-clicking this entire time. LaMau. Okay, space is building. Sorry about that. Wherever you build and our workers to reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. This is your wood mill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Where are you getting the wood from? Let's build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. Uh, why, why is it automatically building stuff? Extend the build line with the mouse until a circle is displayed and press space. Build a new connecting tower from the wood mill. But where where do you want me to put this, place this? Just just regular? Uh, nowhere? So you just, do I just build randomly? Okay, so he wants me to build randomly. I'm going to go perpendicular. I think that's where you place the tower? Okay. Why did I place it that way? <laughs> will also build homes and industry around it. Oh, okay. So, a lot of the buildings are automated. Uh, what do you want me to do next? Uh, move the cursor to nearby wind, uh, wood mill, then press L and B to select the wood mill. The nearest selected building is always shown with the blinking orange ground icon. Oh! Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. So you just want me to build randomly? Is that what it is? Where's resource costs? Build more connecting tower and walkways from the wood mill. Inspect the resource flow with control and to see the output of the wood mill grow. All right, so press control. It's giving me plus five. Plus three from the outposts. I think plus five is the max. If you look at the bottom left corner there, output range. All right. Build more connecting towers and walkway from the windmill. Okay, so we'll just, I guess I'll just build a parallel uh, walkway then. Hope you don't mind me placing this here. Um, it's not letting me place for whatever reason. Oh, I'm an idiot. Because I keep pressing left click instead of uh, space. The windmill is now delivering wood further than before. So we can move on. Mm hmm. Across from the windmill. We also built a stone quarry. There it is, right there. Done. Is that easy? Now Lo <laughs> I love the stairway, man. Our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Fuck yeah. Alright, so now we have a stone quarry, but where, where's our stone? Move the cursor to the wooden tower. Uh, so the wooden tower is selected, and the build line retracted, and press space to upgrade it. I'm kind of curious of our resource output. Holy shit, that's a lot of stone. Uh, upgrade at least one wooden tower to stone. Alright, so how does this shit work here? Stone okay. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Alright. Second so outpost, L and B selects the nearest building to your cursor. Uh the nearest built I was reading that. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stone. Very simplistic way of city building so far. You don't really look through buildings at all. You just put down resources, and I think that's about it. And make military. Add a foundation to your outpost. Extend the building line slowly until the square icon is displayed. Ah, you see that right there? So everything is based off of distance, and it looks like you can put down at least two foundations kicking out from your tower. You know, always move it a little bit more to the right. I keep fucking left clicking. The Stop it. What the hell? Can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. Build more connecting tower walkway to your outpost like this. Inspect the worker flow of your outpost with control. I see plus four. Wait, so how does foundation work then? 
I, I placed down one of the foundation. Do I just? The incline is too steep to build upon. Sounds like a dumb problem, not me. Wait, so what does he want me to do? The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. Like, like this, for example. Build more connecting towers, walkway to your outpost, inspect the worker flow from your outpost with control. Done. Like that. Oh, uh, let's upgrade this bad boy to stone too while we're at it. All towers allow for foundation. Wood, stone. Oh. Command towers also allow for battlements. Battlements. I've been ignoring you guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> peace? Dude, this is a peaceful stream. What are you talking about? We just spread peace. With force. Is your place for voice acting? It's very soothing, isn't it? How does the wood uh, mill get wood? Are there trees inside? Yeah, dude, they're harvesting whatever the fuck this thing is right here. That, that gives wood, apparently. Are those big tree shroom things or rocks next to the wood mill? I'm pretty sure this, this is the main thing that gives us lumber for resource. And the quarry is up here. All right, there's the quarry. So we can start expanding it Bro, this guy sound like, uh, fuck. This, this guy sound like, uh, the, the great wizard from Lord of the Rings. Or Count Dooku. You allow the Jap application, get the job. So how does shit work here? <laughs> looks kind of chill. You say it looks kind of chill now, but wait till you see till the later part of the game, man. The empire grows, baby. Build more walkway connecting. Okay, so how about more foundations? Yeah, I think we should build more foundations. Apparently, we put a further exp foundation on this side. Um, I like how we have resources, but I don't know exactly how resources work. Oh. Flying your surveyor. Explore the open world. Come here, develop the uh, command sound tower. Well, it is time we started being more ambitious. Take you see that plus sign right there? Okay. Take to the skies, my lord. Use tab to switch between ground and air mode. Use L and B to command your surveyor to fly to the cursor and use M to view the world map and see the nearest resources. Here's my surveyor, by the way. Left click to move your troops. Kind of very similar to Red Alert. So let's take a little look. Look, the smelly log folders. Iron is to our east, boys. Yeah, those bastards. How dare they be suspicious? Do we want to go left or right? I think we should go left. It's like the closest to my stone quarry. So we can probably try to move foundations to our left. Pretty sure how it works. All right, boys. Left it is. We go left. Let's fucking go. Oh, damn, dude. This survey is fast as fuck, boy. I think that's it. Right there. Right there. Right there, boys. Right there. There's my iron. There it is. There it is. Look at that beauty. Yep. Yes, sir. So you want to try to rush iron then, I guess? Now have access to iron. Yeah, now we gotta need to connect the building. Wait, 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 what? Very anyway heavy then. What's that? What is that iron C60 at the end there? Uh, harbors must be built in deep water close to shore bound buildings. When your cursor changes to an anchor, a suitable captain must then be uh, assigned. Harbor must be built in deep water close to shore. So do I just press space? You have no available resource extractor. Uh, you need resource extractor to actually build stuff too. Interesting. Iron, but it needs to be that's what, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, idiot. What do you want me to do? Harbor must be built in deep water, uh, close to shore bound building when your cursor changes to an anchor. I see the, I see the anchor right there. It's right there. A suitable captain must be assigned. How do you fucking assign a captain then? Listen, do you know how stupid I am? Do you know how many brain cells I have? You have no available <laughs> Am I supposed to go back and actually pick up resources? This resource extractor is missing access to workers. Oh. We now have iron, but it's not making its way to our settlements. Build a pair of harbors with your surveyor to transport iron across the sea. That's what I've been trying to fucking do. 
I see that little sir. I see that little R. Uh, you fucking have below zero brain cell. Uh, fuck off. You have no available resource extractor. <laughs> what do you want me to do? We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the desert. Oh. Uh -huh. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron. Why well, do you do that? Did he end you? The map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters. Yeah, I don't know already, dude. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. You can fast travel. There's a soul tree. Faction population. No idea what this fucking means. We'll probably learn about that later. <laughs> it doesn't tell you how to do it. No, we're supposed to be in air mode. Let me fix that understatement. I'm trying to you concentrate. Why the fuck you help not helping? Cells, ha, 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 Fuck up, dude. You have no available resource extractors. What do you want me to do? We now have access to iron. He's giving me the anchor shit. Across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. This resource extractor is we now have iron, but it's not making its way to our settlement. Move further into the water? It won't let me. Do you know how- Oh. Oh, dad anchor. Okay, so I was confusing the anvil and the anchor. Shh. Chat, hear, hear, me, the, hear me the fuck out. Guys. 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 Who the fuck names himself salad tree? Who, who the fuck names himself Salad Tree? Chat. Uh, what, what, what does that icon mean right there? He, he has a little fist icon. I'm not really a fan of that. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect you. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Uh, this is actually pretty fun. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, build a destination harbor in deep waters near your outpost. The trade route will be automatically established between the two harbors. The grow and arrow on your compass points back to your thing. Well, Bob, all right, here it is, boys. See, I so smart. Look at this, boys. Look, 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 guys, guys, look, look. Oh, that's Captain Sally a tree to you. Sally a tree, Sally tree. Select your outpost. Holy fuck. So we can start expanding this further. All right, done. The See, it's so easy. You can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. Mm hmm But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper system. Then we upgrade to iron, right? Let's take a look at our resource so far. Resource is very generic and basic so far. We upgraded. All major resources now at our disposal. Mm hmm Let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors, as well as additional foundations and all right. There's a trade ship. Upgrade a basic or I gotta put my back straight. I've been bending my back this entire time. Guys, guys, be patient with me here. All right. I, I listen. I thought I was stuck in that quarry. That's that's why I wasn't able to build. All right. Then listen, guys, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Press space when the towers is selected to upgraded. First upgrade to stone and a higher stone tower then to a command tower. Oh, okay, so you, these little towers over here, you can actually upgrade it multiple times. Alright, so now it's a upgraded stone tower, and now this should make it a command tower. What the fuck? Is that what the triangle is?
Is that what the triangle for? Oh my god. How do you just put down foundations like this? That's illegal. Use space to add more floors to command center when the tower is selected. That's exactly what I did. Did, did I not? All right, so are we, are we supposed to push out for more foundations now? Holy shit, dude. Imagine playing with friends. They're trying to upgrade the command tower and I just have an army right outside. I just bombard you. <laughs> uh, I wish I had friends. This is not going to fucking go up. How many floors do you want me to add, dude? I think I fucked up. Wait, what the shit? What does that even mean? There's like a max of tr three arrows. Maybe I should go max three arrows on all sides here, just to make sure that's like... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the reason why it's like uh, bugging out. I was changing between the like the farthest arrow and the like the middle arrow on accident, which wasn't really supposed to happen. So I did what he wanted. So this is like a full fucking fortress right here, dude. Okay, so I finish. What's what's next? Oh, oh, oh! It's it's growing, boys. It's growing, guys. My tower's having an erection. Holy shit, dude! That tower's better than the outpost already. I don't know how that works, but okay. <laughs> build three balconies for your command towers. Use R and F to move up the higher floors you want to build from to slightly extend the build line until you see a triangle or square icon. Uh, like that? Why is it so fucking confusing, bro? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. How do I how do I sign? Hold L and B. Okay, so you're supposed to hold. There it is. Stabler Marshall. Why is he missing an eye? Yo, is there something wrong with your eye, dude? Listen, man. It's okay. You can't. It, it's okay to be half blind. I'm already fully blind. God, there calls for aid. <laughs> Master Doro hear him. Stable not since the heyday of the war of the tree and service to our, uh, our people. My retinue of falconeers, eagle, and settle in. Get your war birds airborne. Do not delay. Oh! War birds? Alright. Do we have an airfield? Joining our battle group. When the we have a fucking airfield, guys. Yo, we have air superiority. What, do you, what does he want me to do now? We have access to resources, a citadel, and command power. Oh. Uh? It's time to explore the surrounding area. Find more people that will help us thrive. Wait, we'll find, wait, what do you mean, find more people? These are desperate times. They sure ain't. So we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. Uh oh. Be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Oh God! Perfect. Now it's Death. All up to you. Head out and explore the earth. Tutorial complete. Build our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. I. So I, I, okay. So from the looks of it, you explore. For these like nodes and that allows you to build more buildings i think i think that's how it works i'm not too particularly sure let's connect these two roads why not right so if i build a tower let's say let's build a tower from here i don't think i can move in. oh oh no i can go over here okay nice so let's say i put a tower over let's say here i think that consumes some resources like raw resources what the fuck? didn't even connect okay we'll put it from here then yeah, yeah. So you look at look at workers. I think workers went down. Pog. Not Pog. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our family. More Pog. Free house folk are numerous, 
and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlements. What, what did he say? <laughs> Alright, then we'll upgrade this tower. So yeah, every it looks like every time I upgrade a tower, it consumes some resources or something. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm really confused on how this shit works. How do, how does resource like management work here? Uh, apparently, we're supposed to go out there and explore. City building is a little bit more much more weird. There's not a lot of logistics you have to worry about. Uh, so it looks like we're missing five manpower from this area. Citadel is giving me six uh, workers, but all the workers on this side, I think that's my just my primary military. Where, where are my air units? All right, anywho. An Let's investigate. Sure. Pay attention to the political influence of your settlements. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. Well, fuck them. Well, fuck them. You think I care about them? We're building an army. Anywho, how do I get over here? <laughs> How do, how do I get my ship to automatically over here without me doing it? Additional forces have joined our battle group. Ooh. I like the voice actor a lot. He's 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 pretty uh, calming so far. Here's another sawmill that we can place down over here. I think we want to not. I think we want to kind of harbor it. Can you, can you fucking stop having so much ADHD, please, and build something? You Thank no you. Son of a shitlord. <laughs> all right anyways uh supposed to go down here i think we're going the wrong way boys Dude, this 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 I, I wish there was like a move from map command i think we're supposed to go north here yeah yeah, yeah. there's an anomaly over here aracha what's up bro what's up lazander what's up nuka-cola good morning guys what's this any good uh we're playing a double curly so we don't really have a lot of uh information about the game just yet why don't you have the tab videos on twitch you played like two weeks ago wanted to watch them couldn't find them so twitch i have to put them in the highlight which i didn't do twitch makes it where and it's been it's been three months i have not played tab for a while Rocco. uh but yeah twitch removes anything over three months all my videos over three months is gone, unless I do a highlight on those videos. So, Kyle Jar, good morning, dude. Happy Mondays. But yeah, there, there's there's no fucking Twitch right now. Not, not Twitch. There's, there's no Dare Billings anymore. Unless I upload it to my YouTube. So, I apologize for that. I don't really highlight a lot of my videos. I don't really expect people to actually go back that far just to find those videos. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> my 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 my, my uh, mouse kind of just went off screen. All right, what what is what's in this anomaly? I, I want I wants to know. Is this an invasion? I need to invade. Wait, there's a little question mark right there. I think we could have just found it. All right, then do I press space? What what do you want me to do here? We found the anomaly. My ship is just staring at it. Excuse you? No. Squeeze me, princess. Uh, investigate. LMB, hold. I'm an idiot. What's more valuable? This is Mark II. Whatever stories you might have heard, shoddy months of welding was to blame. I don't gossip. Wower. What's up? I am lying on the bed. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Mondays. This is Mark II. What? Business appeared. No update in there. Well, I don't have any more content to do for Dare Billions. I don't really. I haven't really got the feeling to want to play the game. That's why I'm always out and about and expanding, trying to look around for other games to play to see if there's anything I can, you know, play a little bit more. It's just that live service games are the one that has the highest shelf life. For me, Dare Billions has completely dried out. It's an empty bookshelf. There's cobwebs all over the place. Spiders are fucking overrunning it. I'm about to grab my flamethrower and just torch it. But yeah, it's just tab is so old. I mean, if you want to wait until our throwathon, or another throw that throwathon, it's gonna be a scamathon this time on my birthday. People can actually put points towards playing their billions if you really want to. But that's gonna be during my birthday, which is gonna be in June. So yeah. Uh, you can link that game here, uh, Lysander. Link it to me. I'll watch it after we play the demo. What the fuck? Where do you go? Refugee seven. Oh, what did you say? Refugee settlements? We can't be having that. 
Is there an unidentified ship? Unidentified ship, boys. All right, let's go towards that question mark. This just came out. Do I have to buy it? Fuck is this shit? Dude, everything's in Chinese, dude. Fucking moon runes all over the goddamn place. Dude, it's in pure fucking Chinese. You want me to play a fucking Chinese game, dude? Is there even English translation? I think that's Chinese. Is it Chinese or Korean? I, that sounded like Korean for whatever reason. We are Chinese now. Hi! Don't you, Bob? Wait, I should be speaking Vietnamese. Hello, man! Get the fuck out of here. The more, the, the more reason why I want to kill you. Uh huh? Outpost to salvage, relocate, increase the Imperium alignment in place. Decline. Oh, no. Yo, guys, we're, we're giving the option to actually genocide here. Boys. Etc. German English. Okay, so it does have English. What the fuck is the trailer? Just straight up in a different language. That's why I was like, when I looked at the game, I was like, does it even have proper English translation? Guys, we can genocide. We can genocide. All right, you know what? Just to, just to see where we can go here, we'll let them live. I think this is a faction that, if you let live, can actually turn potentially against us. The land's rag will continue. Apparently, they're part of the Imperial family. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, let's get the other iron. I saw iron over here, to the right. How do we build more outposts? Am I supposed to, like, bring resources along? Because I was able to build... Yeah, we want to grab more outposts so we can expand our cities. Right now, our devil limit is at 16 out of 25 already. Is it because we upgrade our buildings? Probably. Very beautiful graphics, though. Absolutely phenomenal graphics here. Can't believe we already got past, like, most of the tutorial. That's, that's unfortunate. Weird game? Very weird. Weird, yet interesting. I wonder what the combat would be like. You have no available resource. Eat my ass. Wait, can I just build, like, a harbor here, then? No, you can't build a harbor, because I'm pretty sure you have to build a resource extractor first. Actually, I don't even think we need to. We just need to build towards it. It's on the same exact area. All right, what about this iron over to the right then? Pretty sure it costs resources to get iron to the right. A refuge. Another refugee camp? Oh my god, there's so many. Look how big this map is, guys. Look at this fucking map. Stargazer, Auburn Reach, New Remit, Redmouth Forge, The Shard. It's like a the mall. Wait, can we explore the mall? I kind of want to. I, want, I kind of want to go over there to explore them all. I really want to look at it. That's the most random uh, island. I keep pressing off my screen. My car searches keep going off the screen. Stop it, you bastard! All right, time to build. You have no available resource. Oh wait, so how do we get more resource extractor? I just realized. So the game allows me to come in with one of each resource extractor for free. So how do we how do we make another one? I don't think it allows you to. I think we're supposed to just explore through the map. I just realized this. What the fuck? Well, whatever. We build them. <laughs> Let's go with this one over here. We build. We expand. You expand with towers, by the way. Up we go. And then you expand down here. But I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to build another resource extractor. So even if you want to build here, we're not allowed to because we don't we don't have any more resource extractors. So it is what it is. Unlucky. So typically speaking, we have already finished the demo. Demo doesn't really allow us to have too many uh, gaming potential here. I want to check my email real quick and see if they actually sent an email back, but I highly doubt it. I think I would have heard my phone kind of do a ring ring by now. But yeah, that's all you have. Uh, that's that's all I have to show for the demo. Oh wait, there we go. There it is. Uh. <laughs> uh, 0326. Yo, guys, there's an embargo. <laughs> there's an embargo. Damn it. Okay, so I can't even play the key today. So the key is going to be tomorrow, meaning we finished the demo. There isn't really much for us to do uh, so far, but I hope you will love it. I'm really liking it a lot. I want to see what it has. It, so the, the, the one thing that caught my attention with this game is the fact that I'm able to uh, expand. I'm really liking that. But yeah, we have an embargo on the key. They, they, they did send me a key. Right off the bat. That was quick. That was really fucking fast. Uh, so I appreciate it. 
So I think what we're going to do. What time is 2 p.m. GMT to CST? 2 p.m. GMT to CST. Water, really good for an indie game. I'm liking the graphics a lot. I like this. This is such a unique building system for a city builder game that really caught my attention. And I really want to play this game more just to see what the combat's like. I like how the demo was only like less than an hour of game. That's why I stalled. I was like, hmm, what can we do here? Is it generated? What's generated? Anyways, let's go check out that question mark in the top left. I want to see what that is. More refugees? What, what if what if it's refugees? No, I'm not going to allow it to expand. I think you can also build cities over here, too. Let me double check. Let's go over to the uh, iron area. See if I can put down a random tower. Because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, supposed to place on towers to protect your outposts. All right, so there it is. Here's the harbor. You're supposed to build, uh, let's see if we can put a tower here. It doesn't look like it allows me to. Wait, so you tell me enemies can just attack you? Or am I supposed to make units and defend it with units? I mean, that would make a lot of sense. That's fine. I mean, what if, what if you play an extremely expansive play style then? Like, and then people start attacking all of your nodes at once. Like, how, how do you defend against that? I guess you don't. I went by the question mark. Question mark's the wrong way. The Falcons are units? Yeah, but like, how do I get the Falcons out? I don't, do we, do we even get the chance to choose our Falcons? Uh, probably head back to the base soon. Give me a second. We, we are able to fast travel with the surveying ship after all. I don't know. Oh my God, dude. I keep pressing off the map or off the game. Farmer against potato idol. Fucking night shifty. Make bird houses and put bird seeds out. Who knows? Well, we're about to find out. All right. Uh, master at arms. Please demolish this paltry holding, and we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. We More are fucking humble. refugees. We are but humble, we are greatly reduced, and this is our last holding. The gen genocide! Ooh. I don't even feel bad. Yo, that was fire. Do it again. I want, I want, I want to do it again. I want to murder more. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do that again. Guys. Guys. <laughs> Genocide. <laughs> Genocide. Unless we just absorbed them into our empire. That could have happened, right? Right? That's the most random ass ship. Yes. Safe haven? What a sorry sight. What the hell? He just insulted my fucking haven. What's up, Nightflow? How's it going, dude? Truly, my services are urgently needed. This here is an ironclad steam rake. And she is for hire. We seek a new patron, new waters to guard, and new harbor for repairs and restocking. What say you? Yo, dude, the fucking roleplay is on point. What say you? Dude, that, 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 dude, you, oh my god, I love it. You have enrolled an officer. Yes. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade. Alright, do they just do it automatically, or do they actually, like, can I, can I, like, command them? So it looks like even combat feels automated. I think. I'm trying to look around, but I don't think I can. Man, everything looks automated so far. This is our defendable building over here. Uh... I mean, just do that. Don't want to build more towers. What the fuck is that? Wait, what does that even do? Dude, that, that's so random. It's just place a battlement there. What, what, what are you going to have? Cannons? What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, how, how do I remember that? <laughs> that looks so weird. I fucked up. I done fucked up. Rest assured, friend. My words are the strongest. Oh, there's the word words. Look. So it is automatic. So, I wonder what war would look like. Why do you keep destroying the building? Just Okay. Can I upgrade my lumber mill? You cannot. Oh, we have ad break right now. Alright. Well, we do have ad break, guys. 
Do you have access to, to, for First Dwarf? I see a couple play, people play it, play something on Twitch. First Dwarf, what is that? What is First Dwarfs? Uh, let me first add this key to my Steam page. Just so you guys can't steal it whenever I show screen. I think we're about to go through games real quick here in a bit. Uh, but I am not allowed to stream this game just yet. 2GMT, 2GMT to uh, USCST. Let's take a look. 7 a.m. Monday. Wait a minute. That's not it. 2 a.m. Monday. See, oh my God. I said 2GMT to UST, and it gives me the opposite. GMT to CST converter. So they say 2 p.m., which is 14. Uh, 9 a.m. my time? Hmm. I think 9 a.m. is when I can start streaming this game. I'm not too particularly sure. It's very hard to fucking tell. Or is that 10 p.m. or a.m.? I think that's 10 a.m. Fuck. It's really late for a stream. Why is this shit so weird, dude? Give me a second. We have Abbott right now, anyways. Embargo is tomorrow. But what time? Uh, GMT to CST. Okay. Cause you, you, you know what I'm not used to? Military time. Oh, it's 4 a.m. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, how do I move it to the next day here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 3 p.m. is 10 a.m. So, it's 9 a.m. Uh, so tomorrow, 9 a.m. Wait a minute. Is it now? No, you guys are ahead five hours, right? Yeah, you guys are ahead five hours. Uh, 9 a.m. So, 9 a.m. tomorrow, then. Then we'll be able to play this game. Yeah, I'm not used to military time. What makes it military time, anyways? That's a good question. I just call it military time, so I don't know. Uh, the first dwarf. Let's take a look at that. Get insulted upon? Make birdhouse and put bird seeds out? Who <laughs> knows? Uh... Alright, so multiple games that we can showcase on Twitch here to see what we uh let's let's take a look. Let's take a little looky look. That's it for the devil, by the way. I can't do anything else. There's nothing else that we can uh, explore here. So let's take a look at the games that we have. Uh give me a second. That was a very quick demo. Uh let's take a look. First dwarves! There's some uh one thing dwarves are better at grooming their beards is engineering, jump into your mech, build a base, and explore the crumble fantasy world in your this immersive action RPG where you manage to survive his danger. Also, a tower defense. All right, let's take a little looky look here. Just came. It says coming soon. There's a request access to join the play test. See if I like it or not. I like the fact that I'm piloting a mech. It's a survival game. Automation. Lots of combat. The title of First Dwarf, not just an honor, but a burden. A brave heart chosen to huh. find a new beginning for his kin. The previous hero disappeared, and his legacy was forgotten. Now, Yo, he's fixing the balls! Yo, he's fixing his balls, man! He's giving the robot balls! This time, a dwarf longing to restore his father's name. Restore his balls! But he's not alone. Ragna, the scholar dragon, stands by his side. Her wisdom counters society's bias against her scaly kind. Together, harnessing the Fucking power furries. of the mech, they'll shape the land for a new dwarven dawn. All right. They will discover the magical flying islands and harvest the richness of diverse lands. Seems like there's a lot of grinding to be done. There's enemies to fight. Together, Power. They will build new colonies. Are they making cities? Wait, they're actually they making will cities. Develop their skills and craft gear, which will be useful in fighting tainted enemies. I see. There's a portal that pops out. Base. They will survive this story together or alone. 
Yo, there's like the game said it's the tower defense. So you, I think you can place down towers later. Lies in your hands. I mean, I see request access here. Welcome to the playtest. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Well, that was easy. All right, we'll play that next one. Um, okay, we'll just do that through my Steam. Give me a second. Let's take a look at this game. This game's kind of sketch, dude. You sure it's uh, safe? I had to double check. All right, let's take a look. This is another Survivor game. So let's take let's, let's check this bad boy out real quick, too. That is Chinese, right? Mandarin. You get to play as waifus, furries, demons. The main character? This art looks familiar. See, that's why I'm saying I'm looking at fucking moon runes, dude. I can't fucking read this shit. Some kind of meta progression I'm looking at. <laughs> wow, so many fucking rerolls. Wow, so epic. That was so epic. Dude, guys, did you see that, dude? Guys, guys, what the dead. Fuck am I watching? I don't know. What the fuck are you playing on Steam right now? I saw your name come up earlier, playing some stupid ass idol game. Anyways, you saw that? Yo, that demon did the superhero landing. You see the animation? That was badass. Let's watch it again. Look at him. Look at him. Look, guys. He's going to do the superhero landing. Look, watch, 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 watch. What a superhero. It's <laughs> a badass animation, guys. What a badass trailer. My frame, dude, the video's frames can't keep up. All I see is numbers. At least, at least the music's epic. I'm so tired of playing Survivor games. I'm so fucking tired of playing Survivor games. I sure wish I could read what they're saying, man. Idle game. Me. I left my PC on when I left for work. I was playing the Crowsmith. Uh. Looks like a very tiny arena already. Okay. Do you have interaction with the map? I see, I see some kind of like fountain thing. Crazy build! Oh my god, it's an angler! Dude, that's crazy! Alright, weapons. What do you got? Some of these weapons look like weapons from mobile games I've played in the past. Oh, oh, unique story. I, I see. Okay. Okay. Very unique. Right. Oh, he's one of the characters in the demon side. Wait, 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 what was that? What was that? Wait, wait, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that a, is that a fox girl nun? <laughs> is that a fox girl nun? <laughs> Yo, boys, I, I see four waifus. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna play this game, man. <laughs> like, as much as I love making fun of this game, I think I might actually play it.
<laughs> Yo, that, that that's enough to sell sell it to me, boys. Fucking nine dollars, eight dollars for this shit. Yo, can I get this game for free? Very good survival like clear two runs. Love the variety and meta game progression. You only play two times. You fuck, you fuck, Lloyd. Anyways, hey yo, why is this really good? I'm surprised at the massive amount of meaningful updates. All right. Well, I see a lot of people liking it so far. I want to see each other. Since, since they're scared. Oh, oh, God. Um, why, did I, why did I expand that? <clears throat> guys? Guys, guys. I, I can explain. Guys. Guys, I can explain. <laughs> dude! 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 I made sure! Listen, I made sure to go to my preference and disable anything 18 plus. I, I couldn't, I, I didn't expect that. Dude, I, I thought it was a legit review art or something. Guys, I can explain. Guys, guys, it's it's just, chat, 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 chat. Listen, listen. Is that Morgan from Street Fighter? Probably was, I don't know. You know, funding? Oh God, no. Yeah, I'm actually playing this game, so. Another Twitch uh, bitrate tester. Uh, first dwarf playtest. Let's go ahead and change it over. Oh, give me a second here. Yeah, I gotta use this to talk to you fucks. I hate it. Uh, let's see here. Um, stone and rock mech thing. All right, good. Great title. What a deal. Guys, I I I I can explain. All right, listen. That that was not my fault. I I wasn't intended. I I listen. I listen. I made sure, again, to turn off anything that was pornographic on Steam, and that motherfucker dare showed up. <clears throat> we know you gay anyways. I'm not gay! Had enough of Bulwark already? Well, I only that, that was the demo. There's not much you can do in the demo, speaking of. See, I'm done. I can't do anything else in this game. I have to wait. I have the key for the game, but I have to wait for the embargo to be over, so I can't really do anything here. Well, guys, I'm not gay. I watch VTubers. I mean, I, I guess I watch uh, male VTubers, too, but that doesn't make me fucking gay, all right? I'm st I'm straight as a rock. Unbendable. That's Nikki. Uh, that's a mobile game. Don't worry about it. Let's take a look. Okay. Um, first dwarf play test. Let's take a little looky look. Is it going to melt my computer, too, while we're at it or some sort? What's going to go on here? Hey, you're not supposed to look at that. Well, you slap it in my artifact seeker. Thank you. All right. Well, well, we'll take a look at that survivor game. It looks okay-ish, I guess. The gameplay still looks repetitive. I'm so tired of survivor games, but hey, dude, waifus, waifus. What is this? Another beautiful mystic survivor? <laughs> Guys, ain't that right? Beautiful mystic survivor of some sort. Putting forth a defense that absolutely did not help in this case. It helps a little bit. I think my game crashed. What a great start so far. Anywho. Uh, let's go and put game capture for this bad boy. Done and done. I still think my game crashed, though. The chat bar is not helping. My game, my game didn't really just crash there, did it? I think it did. It, de it definitely did. All right. Um... How do I close this? <laughs> Defenders. All right. Uh, I got to relaunch it again. Give me a second. Am, am I not allowed to play this game or something? But hentai edition this time? Listen, bro. Star Drifter. Okay. It might have been loading. Press any key to start. Hello? Is this loud enough? Defense, um, Tower defense, wave defense, 
mechanics or whatever the fuck, dude. I'm so lazy to type in uh, uh, an explanation of what these games are. I'm so fucking lazy. Uh, where's my main browser at? Did I close it on accident? There it is. All right. So thanks for showing me first dwarf. I think my game, cr my stream crashed. Did my stream crash? Oh my god. Wait, I think my stream crashed. Oh wait, what? Why did my? Do you guys hear me still? Wait, so you telling me that game immediately crashed to my stream, dude? What is with these games that is just fucking broken? What's going on? No, oh, welcome back, y'all. <laughs> uh, uh. That virus? Well, that would be helping uh, hitting everybody else on this uh, category, would it not? Tell the roommate to stop downloading part. Could be my roommate downloading something. Well, I closed the game and now the stream is back up. I wonder if it's actually the game or not. That's causing my PC to, like, disconnect my internet. Bro, what are with these games, dude? That's, like, fucking just maxing out everything that you can. I have V-Sync on. Well, v Okay, that doesn't help. Uh, I would rather play this on 60 FPS if possible. All right, let's launch it again. Maybe I should stop playing playtest. Did my stream just crashed again immediately? No shot, right? Stream didn't just crash again, yeah? The V Sync's on. Uh. Dude, we're, we're playing like super low graphics right now. With shitty resolution. Yo, how do these games with like, this game doesn't even have good graphics. We literally just looked at the trailer, it looks like dog shit. How's it consuming so much resource? This is the main menu. No, I think it's my internet, guys. I'm pretty sure it's my internet dying. Yeah, I was looking at, I was looking at my um, stream real quick you know, to see if the game swap properly it did and then it crashed the stream <laughs> yo we've been having a lot of internet issues lately guys I, I don't know what's going on man yesterday we had a disconnect friday we had a disconnect saturday was surprisingly pleasant and then uh today we had a disconnect my bitrate still showing zero for whatever reason uh let me see if i can hear myself for whatever reason yeah, I can hear myself. Okay, that's good. Uh, that means Mike's not broken. Welcome back, everybody, I think. Weird. Weird, isn't it? What, 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 what's going on, man? Why, why is it doing this to my internet? I wonder if it's internet issue. I'm pretty sure it is. It just crashed the internet. Why did, why did it just make that same, uh, sound? Drop frames detected. It's this fucking game. Chat, it's just, it's this fucking, this game right here is causing issues. Holy shit. What if I full screen it? Still lagging? We are playing the lowest fucking... Look at the resolution quality! It's so bad! It should not be this bad! It was it wasn't my internet. It's the game! I don't see any lag. I'm getting pings. 
My stream lab is crying for help. Dude, oh, you know what's funny? I go to option, the game dies. My CPU gets maxed out by being here. I think that's hilarious. Holy shit, I didn't expect the game to be this unoptimized. All right, let's take a look. CPU's maxed out, boys. It's just showing an animation! My PC died by showing an animation! Guys, huh? How can you have it this bad? Oh. Fuck off me, dragon. I'm pissed. Oh my god, it talks. What was that storm? It wasn't natural for sure. Dude, the graphics sucks, man. You need to work on your landing technique. Oh, oh, don't tell me the reason why is because it renders all these rocks around us. Guys, is the stream working okay? Guys, is the stream working okay for you? Looks like Power World. Let me double check here. Holy fucking shit, dude. You can't just make a game that fucks up my own stream. You say something? Can you hear me? No, like, how's, how's, how's the stream looking for you guys? What CPU am I running? i7, 9700K. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I forgot to put thermal paste, the, replace my thermal paste on it, but it should not be this bad. I played, like, higher graphic games, and this game is just unoptimized as shit. Wait, can you, can you hear me? I can hear- are you, are you guys fucking with me now? Okay, don't fuck with me like that. The mech is ready. Time to get in. Say <laughs> someone say something. <laughs> uh. Now, let's see what's left of the airship. Now I'm a fucking mech. Nice. Rudder. Rudder these nuts. Nice, okay. Goods. Some goodies. Why, why'd you jump off your fucking mech, you absolute brain dead monk? Sorry, monkey. Dude! Oh, my hammer. Good thing it didn't fall far. What? Why was it kicking me out of the mech? Bro, I was pressing you have to pick up stuff, and it was kicking me out of the mech. You can't hear a shit? Is it really that bad? Chat, is it is it is that that bad? I've salvaged what I could. We can look around. Some pieces might have landed elsewhere, but I think it's a good spot. Just... You only hear? Okay, so the, yeah, okay, so game sound is uh, low. Oh, uh, that's all you have to say then. I, th I thought y'all y'all can't hear me at all. Yeah, we bumped this up to like a little bit higher. I can barely hear myself talk, dude. No gameplay music? There is. There is gameplay. Is this better or worse? Press control to enter build mode. Is that to, is that allowing me to leave? Oh, I just realized this axe is a pickaxe axe. Okay. We can build! Main base. This is the main base. Built mostly out of our destroyed airship. Okay. Mana consumption daily. So mana is your energy. We build, boys. We build. Pretty sure there's a like day and nighttime cycle. I can see the day and nighttime cycle at the top here. Miguji, can you can you hear now? Or do you need me to bump up the music a little bit more? Just let me know. I'm more worried about my stream fucking dying out when I'm playing this game because it already died out of the main menu. See, when you have a game that completely fucks over your PC at the main menu, that's when you know that there's a bad game in build. Well, not really a bad game, more like a very un poorly unoptimizable game here, even though this is the playtest and all. What's up, Big Danny? How's it going? Good morning. I mean, Monday. Oh, we found mana. Uh, what does this do? Hold to extract mana. I see. 
Oh, I'm guessing mana is there to help me run my machine? Fucking dwarves. So call me Stevie, how's it going, dude? Can you meet the streamer instead? Never expect an optimization? Yeah, dude. But fuck, man. It's like, oh my god, it's just pump these things together and bam, bam, destroy my computer. Uh, how do I build the control? Alright, so we need to build the main base. Don't know if we want to build it next to this, like, um... This man of uh, no dome. Let's just place it here. Mana consumption daily is 10. Okay. So how does mana work? Wood and stone. Or how they say it. Rock and stone? Wood, now it's time for stone. Finally, wood dries or rots. And stone lasts for ages. Uh huh? You can build a shelter out of wood, but you cannot build a house without stone. So when do, when do we get automation for all this wood and stone shit? Find find query. You spelled query wrong. Is this dwarf American? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah, you can hit multiple nodes at the same time. Nice. All right, so we're supposed to find a quarry. It's on the muck map. I can see it right there on the map. But but I want to explore, damn it. What is this? What's this thing right here? Activate. Yoink. Ancient renewal point. After building a base and calling it oil, you can activate the point. I don't even know what this is. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Vernabuck? Hmm? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, eh? No, you fucking empty ass machine. You're supposed to hit the rock below you. Idiot. There's my quarry. What the shit is this? Berries? Fucking love berries. God damn, dude. Man, I can use a berry smoothie right now as we speak. This Stone! Like to dig. Yes, it is. Look at these scratches. Somebody has been here before us. Ah, uh, yes. Must have broken off. That's it. These are wild lands. We are the first to explore here. What's that so, sound? That's me. It's my cousin. Ah, what yes, cousin. I think something that doesn't want to be our friend. Friend? Yo, dude. Why friend? But delicious. Is this been a flash room, boys? Can I dodge? No, that's build mode. You absolute idiot. God, come on, this game so Oh man, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. Fuck him up, dude. Cleave him in two. I was expecting wild animals, but this. I think it used to be a wild animal. What on earth happened to it? What in the hell? That that, that has to be a wood sure, node. But I think it was this looks like a wood node. I'm being blocked out. Oh, I'm supposed to destroy the monsters nest. Give me a second here. Can I jump? Look at that jump. Look at that fucking leap, dude. This little bag of buckets. Uh, am I taking damage just by being in front of it? <laughs> I think I'm taking damage just by being in front of it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know what that red bar means. There has to be a faster way of destroying this, dude. <laughs> Alright, it's done. No, such things never appear one at a time. It's like an illness spreading through the body. It's only the beginning. Have you done enough digging? No, I need more digging. Yes, that's it. Now we can build a well on the mana spring. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Buildings need mana, just like my armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just, I was just brain dead collecting resources. It looks like there's only three resources to collect from. Who is we? Me and you. I'm you, and he's me. Please get the reference. All right, so how do I change uh, building? EQ, there's the mana well. Done. And I think this is the mana pipeline. By building connections, you create a system that delivers mana from well to all buildings. Nice you. It's high time to build a sawmill to power it up with a mana pipeline. Uh, so how do I build shit here? Okay, there's the mana pipeline. And I can use that to connect this building, yeah? Okay, good. Fucking easy. Next, there's a resource tab. This is a sawmill. Built next to the forest automates the logging process. Pong! There's automation! So how much resources does this give? 170? Okay. Boys, there's automation! Woo! I love automation. I love the set of automation in here. Do you, you guys hear that? Automation. We still need colonists, so how do we get colonists here? 
Yeah, yeah, you need mana. I'm trying to get rid of all these resources in the way because, well, they are really in the way. It's too bad you can't really just build over these uh, resource nodes instead. Did you insert my PP? I sure did, but it's, it's that too invalid, too small. I, uh... Build something like, uh, well, we gotta follow the tutorial before we build most of the things in here. Other than Power World, what are some bangers you played in the last while, man? None. Nothing. Helldivers. Helldivers 2. Definitely Helldivers 2. So you sound of slavery? Yes. My favorite. My favorite word. I see Manic Oil. What do you think we're invading here for? You think I came here for fun? Of course I came here for fucking oil and mana. All right, anyways, we got to connect this bad boy. Juice it up, Scotty. Uh, how far can you place this, actually? Oh, apparently there's a, uh, there's a build distance limit. Um, unlucky. Uh, can I delete it? Dude, there's no delete button. <laughs> there's no delete button. Oh, fuck. What the shit? Can, can you not connect to that building? Or <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, let's move it over here. So you can only have two space in between each. Now we have to build a stone mine in the quarry. That's exactly what the plan is, good sir. You said you could dig stone all day. I sure can't. First, play later. Smart. Why do these dwarves sound so dead on the inside? All right, so it looks like there's a node. I think this is 300, or is that plus 300 at a time? Not good. We still haven't prepared for unwanted guests. I jumped. Plus 400 at a time per minute per day. This world like to come out at night. I can breathe fire, but I'm afraid you won't make it. Yeah. We could use some defensive tokens. Let's hurry up. Four defensive. Fuck our walls again. <laughs> It's here. Build defensive walls. Build basic defensive turrets. Wait, where where am I supposed to build it though? Maybe maybe I should defend my like resources. I think my resources takes priority. Right, guys? Yeah, let's go defend our resources. We'll put two basic defenses over here. Unless there's like a bunch of portals somewhere else. No, no, don't care. Slap and he slapped on down then. All right, defenses. What do we got for defenses? We got defensive turrets. We got Raven Watchtower. Raven Living Watchtower sees dangers from afar. So it's like a scout tower. It takes a lot of mana, obviously. This thing has like limited range. And then we have the balloon tower. Fires that nearby enemy. What the fuck? That sounds awesome. A mortar tower firing at nearby enemy. Dude, look at the range on that thing. Defensive wall protects against enemies, all right? And then we have gate if you want to get inside. Who, who builds gate anymore? Chat, you, you, did, did I hear gate? Did, did, was that was that gate in that vocabulary? Did I see that correctly? Nah, dude, no way. I'll put a tower, defensive tower here. And I think we'll place another, it looks like you, have, you do have like a, you have the one tile away from these pipes or some shit to build. It's kind of weird. But it is what it is. And then we'll put a tower, probably, honestly, I'll just put like two towers down, like right here too. Kind of have them overlap each other of some sort. There you go, buddy. Can't believe it tells me to build gates. I mean, not really gates, but can, can I build it sideways? Oh my God, I can. Okay, nice. How's this gonna work? I don't think you can build it like, what the fuck? It just looks so weird. It looks so fucking weird. What if, what if I want to build more lumber mills? Dude, it looks like you can only build one wall at a time. <laughs> Doesn't look realistic at all, but okay, sure, why not? Um, there's your shitty walls. What's next? Can they attack the building sideways? I hope not. Alright, done. Walls are done. Build basic defensive... Did I not just build two? Oh, no, you had to connect it. Alright, right. right, right. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Done. I think they're connected. At least I hope they are. Build balloon defensive turret. Now we gotta build balloon defensive turrets too? Alright, roger that. 
I don't know what a balloon defensive turret is, but it fires at nearby enemies. Has really far range, so I guess we'll place like one right here, and another one kind of close to base ish. Yes, you do have to defend against the knights. You know, you know what the problem with this game so far is? I don't know where the enemy's coming from. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to be placing defensive turrets, but I'm more worried about my resource collector, so we'll try to defend our resource collector. We should be safe now. Whatever That's what you think. To this turret, we'll regret it. That's me. I regret it. It won't. I will keep silent, but remember, it's an anxious kind of silence. <laughs> so what kind of turret is this? I'm quite curious. Uh. True. Something really bad is going on here. I can build houses. The monsters are coming out of this nest. Where? It's Show me. Not about the monsters. Something much worse. As if all magic in this place. We have to destroy the nest. Otherwise, the settlers don't stand a chance. Oh shit. Otherwise, nobody stands a chance. Oh shit. Oh my god, the test is hurt. Have at the. Hold your weapon like a mad lad. Who taught you to fight? A rat? You fight like a rat. Oh god, he actually does fight like a rat. Never mind. More like a hedgehog. I think Sonic came but nearby, boys. You got traded from Sonic himself. Hey, stay away from that building. I'm the main tank here. They're fucking up my sawmill. These turrets are useless. My sawmill. Fuck up, my boys. Blast this little bitch ass. So there's a nest over there. Jesus. Okay, so how do I repair? We, we gotta build houses too. That was our main mission. Right, now we gotta get colonists to join our colony. What a deal. So this is technically some kind of city builder. Ish. One here. Uh, there's a fucking rock in the way. We need to build three houses. Persian, bar uh, Persian caves. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I've been ignoring the Dwarven uh, voice acting this entire time. It's a play test. The only thing, uh, the, the only thing that I'm more angry about is how bad it is on my PC to play this game. A missing stone. Nice. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll let the automation do its work. All right. So I, I need to look at the resources. So it says plus 400. That hasn't went down yet. Wait, what does it say? Remove building. Hold F to repair. Does it cost resource to repair? It doesn't look like it. Okay, it takes some time to repair. You can tell this ain't tab already. <laughs> uh, has my internet been crashing lately? God damn it, dude. Steam notification. Give me this. Fucking, this is why you don't, you don't message me on Steam ever. Alright, it looks like stream's been fine. I, I just have to make sure. Because they sound like elves? Yeah, I know, right? Maybe, maybe they're elven dwarves. It happens. Sometimes love makes love. Gates are for pussies? They sure are. I'm glad we can understand the same exact concept here. Oh, hey, look at that. Another stone quarry. All right, time to move over there to build some defenses or some sort and just slowly beat the shit out of this, I guess. I'm pretty sure the more I beat the shit out of this cave, the more enemies will spawn. There's like a little bar at the end of that HP, right below the HP. Dark stone? Press F to pick up. All right, what, what's this dark stone? What did you? What did be doing? I think this is like infection level or something. I don't fucking know. I love how I can't really wobble calm with this fucking cave down. And the clan council wants to send settlers here? Yep. I'm a bit worried as well. But oh, who are we to criticize the verdicts of the noble council? They must have. Yeah, sorry, agreed. but the voice acting really does suck. That's why I've been ignoring it. Oh, hey, another man of To dig a well, build houses for the settlers. All right. We will get ripped apart by wild beasts. But at least we know where they are coming from. We can destroy their nest. Does it, does it stay destroyed permanently? Concentration of dark magic. Maybe it would be better not to leave it here. You're right. I think that monster and stone are made from the same source. Any more houses, my lord? Hello? I just have to connect to the mana well too. So it's like some kind of city building ish. It's giving me a lot of city building vibes from this game so far. The fuck? Yeah, can you not do that? Alright, there's two houses. We got colonists coming in. But I need a little bit more stone here. I might actually expand over there too to kind of like upgrade my uh, automation. Get more resources and play a little expansive. Don't know exactly where I need to put the towers, however. 
They can cut your power? They sure can. I think it's smart of us to actually build multiple power lines, too. Wait, can they actually go for it? It didn't look like they were going for it. No, they can't. They can't go for the power line. There's no HP bar, so I assume that they can't. This does give me a little bit of Rip Breaker vibes, too, just because of the power line stuff. Something I hated. <laughs> you want to know why I hate it? Because the enemies can always attack the power line and just disconnect my entire outpost. I'm like, shit, well, I gotta go over there and fix the issue. <laughs> A little bit of epic music. Liking the music so far, at least. Whoa, whoa, what does that tab do? Don't know what that does. Just gonna ignore it. Uh, can I enter build mode? Because, there we go. Because that pipeline was in the way. Unlock you. Survivor Builder? I like these type of style of gameplay. You don't see a lot of them. Like a city builder, survivor builder, where you control a mech-ish as a dwarf. Why well, can't I place this here? I'm out of stone. Duh. Needs more stone, my lord. Not enough stone. Stone, my lord. Not enough stone. All right. So angry. And we work together. I can't connect this. Have better lives here. No hunger, no deadly frost. Run by me? Do you know how many have said this before? <laughs> generation after generation. It's good to finally. Another night has uh What's flown by, boys. All right, where, where are we gonna get hit by this time? I think we want to try to look for like openings, or maybe explore around for caves. Is there a way to press M? Oh, oh, it's a big ass map. Holy shit! Look at that, boys. Yeah, damn. I just wish this game wasn't so fucking heavy on my PC. What's up, Red? How's it going, dude? The last game didn't last long? That's because it was a demo. I can't play the demo for that much. No, uh, they just gave, they gave me a key, but there's an embargo, so I can't play it yet until tomorrow. I'm going to be playing the rest of that game tomorrow. So we have to wait. I like the, uh, I like the other game that we played. I thought it was pretty cool. Finally, something that drives me to play games again. Dude, I was losing a lot of drive. I was like, man, I'm bored as fuck. Dude, how do, wh what are we going to do to make content for a stream? And you know what? I asked Twitter, and they're like, maybe a change of genre. I'm like, hmm. But what kind of genre do we change to? Because we play so many different games already. I also don't really like to play multiplayer games that much. Hell, I would be still be playing Helldivers 2 if I get the chance. Oh, we're playing a lot more Helldivers 2. So build another water well. Oh, no, no, this is for the population. Do we have, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't tell me this is Anno's uh, stuff here. Complex city builder, possibly. Resource, water well, where's that? There it is. Uh, There's like a little radius. Wait, why do I have four houses down? <laughs> I don't remember, I, I don't remember building another house there. Uh, whatever, I guess. Um, I don't care what you're playing as long as you're failing at it. Keep up the good work. Hey, Lamel. Wait a minute. Bro, what's that radius shit? I don't know what this radius shit is. God fucking damn, dude. Building can be a little bit uh, confusing, sorry. Dear host, when we asked you for something to drink, you gave us plain water, you twit. For that, we will go to your well and right there, without much. Don't you insult me ever again. Don't you fucking insult me again. Examine a mysterious ancient tower. No, where in the flying fuck is that? It's already over there. Okay. Well, we survived the night. I guess we can destroy some of these wooden walls. Did you, did, you, did you hear that, guys? I can't believe they can just insult me like that, boys. What the fuck is wrong with these people? I don't know where to build my defense. I'm just going to destroy these. They're eating up my mana. I can't be having them eat up my, my mana. We don't, we don't need defenses. Defenses are for pussies. Right, guys? Yeah. Pussies. Pussies. So blue tower is an electric tower, by the way. It's a CC type tower. I don't think it does a lot of damage, though. It's where the regular defensive tower actually starts coming in. Anywho. Um, why does this look so rusty? We keep building. Expand. Expand. X. Son of a bitch. How'd I get there? 
Expand! Alright, I gotta mine this rock out of the way. Give me a second. There's a mine. There's like a well up there that I need to push towards. You twit? How dimly dog dare you call me that? I'm smart. Hell divers too? Fucking two blue screens? Dude, I need to put thermal paste on my CPU. Every time I end the stream, I just get on the internet and start looking at stuff. Just because I'm always starting what the fuck. Oh, oh, oh. I found a trampoline, boys. It's a rock trampoline. Typically, that's not how physics works, but it is what it is. So not listening, nor talking? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. <clears throat> I'm really happy that you guys are like giving me a chance and then just showing me the games. You know? Because I've been looking around for games. You're, okay, to be fair, I've been only looking at zombie survival, dude. I clicked on zombies and like, alright. There's nothing new. <laughs> Time to get off Steam. <laughs> but I'm kinda glad that you guys are showing me like these new games because I want to see what games could be, you know, potentially good in the future. That survivor game definitely does look interesting. Um I have I do have like a set schedule. Not set schedule, but I do have games in waiting right now that we do need to like show off to see if it's good or not. Some of them not released yet. You remember Warlords Under Siege? Apparently they're making another game. So they gave me a key like a while ago and I completely forgot about it. And when I say a while ago, I mean like last Christmas. <laughs> we're, we're talking about January. That, that long time ago and I completely forgot about it. Turn out, of course. Fucking trees, dude. This is, why, this, is, this is why all trees need to die. You do like a full AOE swing or something? Nope. Did I say sex schedule? I sure did. Every every day is full, full of sex. Why not? Not a well, another time. Wait, can I just place multiple sawmills against those trees? I'm pretty sure I can. There's another stone quarry over here. Uh, wait, is that another portal? Is that another portal that just came out of nowhere? Or is that the one I destroyed? No, that's the one I destroyed. Never mind. False alarm, boys. Good fucking lord, this mech is slow. Why the fuck is this thing so slow? Can you make it faster? Alright, done with that. What is this? Balloon tower. That's the defense idiot. Connection! Let there be resources. I'm rich, boys. Um. Missing 10 mana? Hello? Is, is it taking forever to bring the mana over? Or what, what's going on here? Did I forget to connect the mana? Plus 100? Bruh. Oh, was- Oh! Oh! Dude, there's a disconnect point! It was right here! I think, right? No? Wait, how does this work? Why is it not connected? What's going on? Is there like- it's supposed to be an input and output? Above demand. Well, it's supposed to be above demand, idiot. But the resource ain't coming out. To the mana pool? No, I'm pretty sure not. Is this a one way? Wait, what? Wait, no, did he get activated? I don't think he did. I'm confused. I'm really confused right now. This might be a bug. That's not connected. Nope, it's connected. Alright, now, now it's giving me resources. That's so fucking weird, though. Let's see if the thing is actually alive or not. It's not. Alright. Uh, another little resurrection thing. I think this is, yeah, renewal point. Hopefully we can, like, fast travel. Big boy tree for 26 wood. I don't know why it's... I feel like the problem is that you can't have multiple connection to that uh, same exact mana well. Also, what's that yellow meter at the bottom? Why, why is it going down that fast? Is my thing overheating? Wait, that has to be stamina, is it not? That looks like stamina. Work in progress. Do not represent final look of the game. Oh, so there's going to be more? 
Got it. I'm liking. I'm really liking um, the automation so far, though. Ah, uh, but you can only have one woodcutter on this. Unlucky. All right, what well, is what it is then? Uh, just making sure all the economies just connect, and then we can continue on with the main uh, storyline here. So it doesn't look like this is connected. See, see, look at. Yeah, it looks like this wall isn't connected either. It could be a visual bug. Yeah, you can upgrade your suit. You can upgrade your pickaxe, you can upgrade your suits, but I'm pretty sure you have to build down like an armory or some sort, but let's go to this ancient tower real quick. Maybe reason to fell the trees to reduce the habitat habitat of elves? Why can't elves and dwarves just get along? <laughs> Why can't the tree fuckers and the rock fuckers just get along? Why? Why always fight each other? I'm almost certain that this is one of the ancient Eskoin ports. These Perhaps there's a better mana wall that you can build? Upgrades? Probably in the future, not in this demo from the looks of it. Great rapture. Look, Eskoin ruins. They have stood here for some Imagine telling me to read. I can't read. Here. This looks like some Eskoin. What the fuck was that term? Thrust engine. I know how to improve my armor using this technology so that it could jump much higher. We have to go to the workshop to see if it works. That tunnel looks sauce. A waste of resources. That tunnel looks hella sauce. Chad, does that, does that, does that tunnel not look saucy, you guys? That tunnel looks hella sauce, man. I think some of these portals can reactivate. Fox, slightly tainted. Slightly tainted fox can be healed. Ability needs to heal slightly tainted fox. Oh, <gasps> you can kill it! Oh, it's pissed off. Well, now it's fully tainted. <laughs> guys, it's, it's not my fault that that happened, all right? Wait, the thing's fucking me up. Bad boy, bad, bad, down, down, boy, down. No, I'm gonna die, ass mech. How about losing to a measle wolf? He doesn't drop anything either. Oh, it wasn't my fault, all right. It wasn't me that put him down. It wasn't. I swear. Also, how do I look at my inventory? What the, what the fuck does Barry do? That's a big ass mana wealth. Not right here. The tower is saturated with dark magic. This crystal is the source of it. Let's take it off. Eh, probably not a bad idea. Wait, so am I supposed to like connect the power to the thingamabob? All the gearing looks good, but we need a you... navigation stone for the port to function correctly. So we, now we now we need an actual blue crystal. Let's search the crash site. Perhaps the navigation stone is still there, buried among the rubble. Oh, it's another tainted to fox. Wheel, we have to look for it near the airship. Dwarves used such stones in their airships, haven't they? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, that's why we are going to the crash site. You talking about my crash site? Yes. And then I have to move all the way back up here again, motherfucker. <laughs> Probably just choose your chubby little legs. Nah, dude, he's, chew he's chewing my robot balls. My poor robot balls. Oh, you take damage. Oh God. Oh God, we take damage jumping off cliffs. Let's do it again. Listen, guys. No time to waste. Thank you. <clears throat> Shoot off my robot balls. Did you not see the cutscene earlier? He was using a wrench on a robot. He was trying to fix the balls. Crash trail ends here. Navigation stone is not here. It must have fallen off somewhere else. We must find it. My I balls. have an idea where it might be. Seems you're still at 100%, man. I honestly think my internet was the uh, main issue, probably. Dude, he's right there. Listen, it says blue mana sword. It's it's blue, and it's a ball, a crystal ball looking thing. Uh, wait, what did it tell me to go? <laughs> where, where am I supposed to go here? Okay, so we have first dwarf. That's great. Now where the fuck is the second dwarf? Dead. Well, you're trying to reproduce or something? Uh, fly with Ragna. Press tab to circle menu. There's a the second dwarf. There you go. Explore a small island and look for a steering wheel. Which which small island is it? Oh. Also has 600 HP. You talk about that little tiny island up there? My stamina is running low though. Has using no her. Comparison to the closed spaces of the Great Dwarven Library. So what, what happens if that yellow bar falls to zero and she's still flying? I think we need to rest for a bit. May, wait, maybe maybe she can just rest in midair. Don't know why I went to the ground. Hey, Shadeless would love playing the dragon. <laughs> uh, 
God damn it. Why are you telling me to go up here for? Explore a small island. Look for a steering wheel. Oh, it's, there's like a bunch of junk up here then. Oh, there's my blue crystal. Found it. Found the blue crystal. Gimme, give gimme. Give any it. any other yoinkers? Any yoinky yoink? Yeah, he is pretty grumpy. True. What is this? Please stop doing Ooh. I don't know exactly what that just gave me. There isn't really an inventory that you can mess around with, but I think the devs might be adding an inventory in. It would it would make a lot of sense. Oh, you can glide and actually re uh, recover stamina. That's kind of cool. Does she glide back to me automatically if I swap over to my mech? Yeah, I want to put her over here and then move over to my mech. Maybe, maybe she does glide back to me automatically. Place the blue navigational crystal into the port. Well, back up we go then. I don't know where the dragon went. The dragon kind of just despawned. Oh, she's right there. She, she teleports back. Teleporting dragon. A new technology has arisen. For the dwarves or dragons. You know, you know dwarves in making um, a pack with a dragon doesn't really make sense here. Dwarves are supposed to be greedy, aren't they? I think dragons are like their ancient enemies. And here you go. Unless that's a drake. Is that a drake or a dragon? Does she have four arms? You can't fucking tell. I think she has four arms. So that could be a dragon. Slippity slap that on him. Stone. It fits. Did it do anything? No, because you need mana, idiot. Just as I expected. No shit, Sherlock. The Escoim also used mana. Yeah. Let's connect a pipe and see what happens. Actually smart. Five brain. He's actually five brain, boys. Done. What does it do now? There's light. What do you know? It worked. Wow. Well, our first colony is ready. We can send I... a raven and wait for the colonists. Oh, my arms are fucked. <laughs> Look at my arms. Send a raven to the dwarves. Well, how do I do that? Here? We can use it for porting. What, what, what are we trying to port back? Send a raven to the dwarves. I think you have to do that back at the main base. Really, you can have a ship later, too. Yeah, you have to do it back to the main base for some sort. Okay, well, uh, let's go back to the main base then. She's sassy? Dude. Well, yeah, I guess dragons are typically sassy. Maybe, maybe like, I don't know. Dragons are supposed to be feeling prideful, are they not? Dragons are typically always prideful. They're prideful dwarves. They're also prideful too. They just don't really have that accent. Uh, ravens can be sent with a smiley face. Northern clans to carry the good news that the new colony is ready for habitation. I think I just press F here. I have to pay respects, I guess. I have a good trip. You're talking to a raven. They can't talk, I can't dude. Believe it. I hope he succeeds. Ooh, build a workshop. There it is. He will succeed. I believe. There's my workshop. The first colony is finished. This is just the beginning. Ah, there it is. Gear. You need iron. Unlucky chimney. Useful to build workshop mechanism or other uh, blue uh, buildings. Excellent technology. How do I how do I repair myself? I think I need to swap over to my dwarf. I think that's how you do it. Uh, let's do that real quick. Just a little hoppy hop off. Fixing his balls, boys. Just fixing his balls. His balls! <laughs> Understand that's true. Your can mimic almost like a parrot. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, now you're just whacking the balls. That's, that's taking it to a whole new level, brother. You didn't have to whack his balls that hard. Meet the arriving dwarves? Where? Where? <laughs> oh, oh, up here. Really? You're just gonna tell me to keep going up this rock? Down we go, back up we go, down we go, back up we go, down we go, back up we go. <laughs> You're not gonna put a little cliff here? Can I put the cliff down, maybe? Oh, there it is. <gasps> Guys, repopulation. 
There's a woman dwarf. Where's the beard at? She doesn't have a beard. Wait. Is the left one a woman? Or is that a dude? Huh. Fancy way of handshaking. Now the well can stand here until doomsday. A drunk without a cup. That's a nasty way of putting it. But you've got a point. It's all a high jump technology. Nah, dude. That, that, that first lady that we were looking at, she didn't have a beard at all. My immersion's ruined. I think it's XOM technology, which we do have the resources for, so I might as well craft it. There we go. Boom. Oh, does it take time? Press pick up. Why did none of us ever come up with this? I mean, we just did. Look, I can jump so high I could catch birds in flight. How on earth could we find That does not look like it went higher. I have no idea. Maybe the construction of the armor is based on Eskoim ideas. Or maybe something really strange is going on here. Talk to the guild master. The guild chief. All right, what does the guild chief have in store for us then? What are you just doing over here for? I, the head of this guild, congratulate That's a girl. <laughs> that that's a chick with a beard. True. While flying the ship, I sensed a foul scent from the nearby island. Perhaps this is a lead for preparing the next grounds for settlement. Thank you, mother. Don't forget that convincing non-kin chiefs of other guilds will not be such an easy task. All right. For the sake of our clan, I hope you succeed. I hope we don't. We'll succeed. It's time for the extermination of our own race. What's next? What does he want me to do next? To intrude on your warm family conversation, but your mother is right. There is a mysterious smell coming from that. Oh, run out! He's beating up my heart. Stop! Oh, I removed my turret, boys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, to beat up my heart. No. All right. Uh, apparently we need towers. Oh god, they're beating the shit out of a lot of my buildings. No! <laughs> Not like this! My towers! Alright, I probably should put some defensive towers down, yeah? No, stop removing building, idiot. Oh, fuck it. Okay, so you can't build it during combat. I can't tell. Are they beating up my house over there? I see purple stuff. Okay, we survived. All right, we really got to put down towers then. Um, where the fuck did they even come from? I believe they are now both connected. Yeah, it looks like they're both connected. Okay. But that's highly unfortunate. They, they destroyed the pump. Unless they destroyed the building itself. Remove building. It looks like it's completely busted out. Yeah, the building's done. All right. Uh, let's go remove the building then. I think we had a lot of resources from it. Resources are infinite. From the looks of it so far. All right. What, what about our buildings back here? Are they fine? Some painting test team. Is co-op enabled in the playtest by any chance? I don't think it is, no. I saw a joint game, but I don't think it is. I never really tried uh, co-op. I don't play co-op games. So I wouldn't really know myself. Uh, okay, The pumps are still active. I don't think that's been under attack yet. I might have to put two towers back here too, just to make sure that these guys are defended. Uh, or not, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I don't, I'm not too. I'm, I'm not uh, sure, unfortunately. Oh, I do not want my ladies to have beard, bro. It's just that they're dwarves. It's part of the lore. Slapping this mortar tower down, baby. Give me that mortar tower. Yeah, yeah. Let it cook. Let me build, please. 
building could use a little bit of work in terms of UI because I keep pressing like control next to a building. It doesn't pop up the building menu. Um, I did say I want a balloon tower back here too. Yeah, balloon tower for CC. Um, place it here. And then we need to defend our settlements, of course. Got quite a bit of mana, luckily. One on this side. I would like to have one on this other side, but we don't have enough wood. Unlucky. Not enough wood, my lord. Auto snap into electricity. Oh, I mean, it is auto snapping, sure. It's a little bit funky though. Like the building system is just funky. Oh no, I think I know what you mean. Like a like a free snap, like a free snap to uh, nearest node. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't have to like manually collect it or connect it. Sorry. I know what you mean. Sorry about that. Right here. Yeah. So what he's talking about, like it plays down a building, it automatically connects to the lowest uh, or the, no uh, the nearest node, not lowest. Sometimes I wonder why beef just doesn't really fill you up. All right, anyways, get to the other island. Do I need to swap over to the dragon to get to the other island? How does this work here? Because we don't really have a ship. So you want me to go over there? Dragon it is done. Our oh, resources. You see, this could be fun after the tutorials. I think building a call would be cool. Uh, I what what I hope that they focus on is the complexity of the building of the game, right? Upgrading, you know. What, what's the point of having a colony when you don't really have needs or management? For example, what what's the fucking point? You just have a colony just for the story. That's it. Like, who gives a fuck? People want to manage a colony and make them happy or something, right? So I hope they kind of go more into, like, the mechanics of colony management. Hope for Rita, is. You prefer manually placing power lines? Well, that's fine. It's just that he wants to auto-connect to the nearest node when you place down a building because it's in range. And if it's not in range, don't. Then you're, you manually have to connect it yourself, then. I think it's fine. Ripbreaker. I think Rip Breaker, no, Rip Breaker does that. Rip Breaker has it where you place under nodes and the buildings automatically uh, reconnect to the power node. That's a LML. <laughs> Flo floating scrolls. Uh, what happened to the thing in the bob here? You burn down trees. What the fuck? Wait, you get it. Oh, that's his attack. Okay. Thanks for playing. If you want to help improve the game, sure. <laughs> Wait, are we done? <laughs> Don't tell me we're done. Dude, what the fuck? He kicked me out of the game! <laughs> there it is, boys! <laughs> That's it? Yeah, he just kicked me out of the game. That was all. Bro, these play us. He's joking. Damn, that's short. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you expect from a play us? I was expecting not that much, to be fair. I thought we were done. Like, uh, right when we place out a couple buildings and you have the dwarves come in which typically i guess the game did end when the dwarves starts coming in they really gotta like lower the resource usage i feel like their main menu needs a little uh, needs a little work yeah because my pcs dies whenever i go look at their main menu laval the graphics dude the graphics aren't even that well okay the graphics did go down because i lowered it but this game doesn't look like a game that's heavily focused on graphics. So, like, my PC should be able to run this. I don't know why it's just that. Like, I don't know. I think the main reason is because of V-Sync there. If I can actually allow myself to have only 60 frames for this game, then we would have been fine. But my max frame was 144. So, it was just going up. It's either 120, 90. I normally play my games in 90. If possible. But, yeah. That was it for first dwarf, by the way. Uh, so, we finish... Bulwark. We finished the first dwarf playtest. Uh, that survivor game that we saw, that's going to be a later day, a different day. Um, 
I think we're going to be playing Rise of Champions next, or Champion Rise, whatever the fuck it's called, Champion Shift. Yeah, that's going to be our next game for today. Grab your controller and kick back. I am not playing this game on a controller. Thank you very kindly. Oh, I hope to God that's not what I think it is. I, I if that if, if that if that a game has like um a, 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 sorry, dude. Wow, I ate beef and broccoli today, and I feel hungry as hell, and it's like kind of fucking over my brain. Maybe there's something in that beef I should be eating. But Nova Drift. If this game has the same control as Nova Drift, we might have some issues. Um, change the title. Champion uh, shift. Oh my god. I didn't fucking whatever. Uh just finished first dwarves. Now moving over to champion shift, uh, which is another action rogue light game. All right. No, Jeff is best play keyboard and mouse. No, it's fucking not, dude. I played it on keyboard and mouse before. It feels like ass. Wait, do I have two different browser up? Give me a second here. Yeah, we'll probably check out that game when it fully releases. I just hope they, you know, up the performance of the game a little bit more, just so my PC doesn't like cry for help. Like it did. <laughs> Please and thanks. Sub optimization nation, how's it going? Good morning. That's the planet, fucking dumb. It, it sucks. Now, for now, it sucks because the dev is still working on the game. There's no synergy with that game. I felt bored as shit playing it, and I felt bored as shit after beating it the first time. So they need a little bit more work with that game. But yes, I did stream it for like I streamed it for like an hour or two, and I stopped playing because it was just. I didn't feel like playing it. It's just like, man, this is not capturing my attention. But yes, for now, it's boring as shit, but the devs are still working on it. Would I recommend the game to anybody? It's cheap as fuck. Sure, go for it. Well... The problem with Nova Drift is the navigation. You're basically moving from one side to the next and it fucks over my like uh, navigational skills. So yeah, I hope this game doesn't stay the same. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? All right, so he already started me into the game. All right. Who's imprisoning the champions? Attention, Dominion personnel. Capture the escape celestial. Ah, so there's multiple characters you can play as. Any Fox Girls? There's more to this uh, instead of like being inside of a building, by the way. Because you actually get to play like a car. Uh, controls is okay or is sure already. So that's nice. We do have upgrades available. Gotta press tab. You have gain a celestial gift. Choose one. Press tab. Uh, conjure two spinning chakram that deals 30% damage. Every third attack is empowered to deal 150% weapon damage. Uh, create aura of crashing wave, dealing 40 damage to nearby enemies every second. Is that onion? <laughs> or garlic? Keep calling it onion. Let's try it out. It is fucking garlic. Laval. It's garlic, boys. I think my attack is automatic, too. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not pressing anything. You just gotta aim. So very, 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 very uh, survivor-like vibe so far. Expand the size of the aura by 50%. Ooh. Wait. What? Jump and shoots in dodgy to unleash fireball, dealing 50% damage every two seconds. 
So this upgrades the damage. This increases the aura size. Let's go ahead and increase the damage then. Hmm. You can do like a close range combat build. <laughs> Bible. Bible boys. We're not leaving to their fate. Why must you always be so heroic? Let's go. I want to be a villain, man. I want to be the bad guys. What's up, Zaylis? How's it going, bro? Good morning. Happy Monday. You know about the gameplay? The, the gameplay really just didn't feel rewarding enough. It felt so dull that I was like, this is kind of boring. Like, it's, it was, it was, it was, it, you don't really have a sense of progression in that game. If you don't, if you make a cheap game, you got to give them a sense of progression somehow. Otherwise, it's just, there's nothing. It, it feels like nothing. Oh, okay. Was, apparently, I was supposed to go through there. Press the shift button. Let's see what happens. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this was the main attraction of the game. You get to turn into a car. It's like Transformers. When the time is right, find me and we'll talk more. You must regain the powers and relics stolen by the Dominion. Can you open this fucking door already, then? You're just, you're just gonna make me waste my car energy and not open the door? Really? Are you joking? The, the fucking car is over. <laughs> Defeat the enemy and escape. All right. Yeah, there, there is a build system. Okay, so you have to wait for the energy to full, uh, fill up before you turn into a car. Bible garlic build already. Hey, I saw that. I was like, this is the most basic shit. Of course, we're going to follow it. Hopefully, there will be more builds. <laughs> All right. Defeat the Dominion. Regain what was stolen. Survive. All right, that was just a tutorial just to see what the gameplay is like so far. You select multiple different champions. We're playing a dude with... What, what do you call it when you wear a jacket like that on his back? Okay, so we have a continuous influx of enemies coming in. Just like a regular survivor game. Just EXP on the ground. Okay. So, the map looks like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it reminds me a little of Grand Theft Auto so far. Let's see if there's any other EXPs to pick up. Unless I just want to keep, like, uh, uh, stacking these bad boys up and just kill them, I guess. Sure, why not? A cape? Well, I guess he's wearing his shirt like a cape, but like, if you look, if you watch a lot of anime, some, some like, bunch of bonafide badasses would wear a jacket over their shoulders instead of wearing it correctly. Right? Is there like a, a way of style of saying it? Unless it's just a cape, I guess? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, would you, would you wear your jacket like this in, uh, uh, when you're walking around town? <laughs> It just looks so stupid, man. Who the fuck carries a great sword in an urban area? Who just does this? Oh yeah, we leveled up a couple times. Give me a second. 80% damage now. Thunderbolt strikes a random enemy every five seconds for 70% damage. Hey, that sounds like a skill from Halls of Torment. Unleash a tornado that deals 50% damage. Let's go with the aura. Wait. The game doesn't pause when I level up! Yo, he just slow-mo hit me! Shoulder robe. I think shoulder robe was the word, yeah. That sounds like a badass name, to be honest with you. The Chad coat, the Chad coat. Normally it's girls that wears it like that, is it not? Not, not men. Well, okay, no, 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 Power World. Y'all remember Power World, right? Um, The fourth tower boss, he, he wears his coat like it. I, I was like, dude, that guy looks so badass looking. Just, just because of that one coat. Maybe I should start wearing it in real life like that too. <laughs> Go to the gym, wearing your coat like <laughs> Wearing your jacket like that. Yeah, fucking awesome enemy. All right, I'm pressing, uh, was it space? No, it's shift. You can run over enemies. Yo, watch me do donut, boys. This is a horrible donut. That's not how a donut's supposed to look like. I, I think uh, your energy goes down faster whenever they hit you in car form. But yeah, you do have an ultimate form. Uh, because you're two-spinning chakram that does 50 damage, divine win. Let's go with Viz use chakram. We're, we're gonna go tall. Okay, apparently there's an area that we need to move towards. I think I'm going to transform into car here. Move towards it right now. There's an ad break in progress, by the way. I do need to use the restroom after all. But what happens if I just fall off? Enemies do respawn in front of you. All right, but we're going to go ahead and pause real quick. Because that break is going on. Give me a second. Be right back. Actually, I need more water, too. What do you know? What a deal. Oh. 
Hello, Leonidas Beard. Good morning, dude. This music has some jam. <laughs> we got some jam here. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to rush the uh, fucking, uh, what is it called? The quest. Destroy the supply line? How do I do that? You're telling me to go back after I get here. I guess that would work. Every third attack, 100% damage to health. Increase the size of the orb by 50%. Let's go ahead and increase size. That's a little bit better. Onion's doing work. What's the tick on it? It's like barely any tick. I love that you just run over them. You lose durability when you, whenever you run over an enemy from what, it, from what I've seen. Uh, I don't think that's safe. <laughs> Standing next to a truck that can explode. Give me a little sploogy splooge. Wait, is enemy... Wait, am I running into enemy taking damage or is the enemy actually doing animation to do damage? It looks like they have to do an animation to do da able to do damage to me here. Okay, this truck is going to take some time. I need a little bit more levels. So we can provide constant DPS. I wonder what the better pro progression would look like here. Let's see, using Tornado, Thunderbolt Strike, every third attack is empowered to deal 150% weapon damage. I need an attack speed for this to actually proc well. Let's go with Heroes Might, sure. I don't like the fact that enemies slow down <laughs> when I'm choosing a power-up upgrade. They have to do an animation to hit you, from the looks of it, yeah. I think my HP is also going up as I level up too. The max HP that is. Fucking robots. Barely you can ram the fucking thing. Alright, uh, let's move over to the next area. This definitely gives me a little bit of Grand Theft Auto vibe. 
But how is the entire area, the entire map, just filled with, like, bandits? Where, where are the civilians? Why can't I just kill civilians instead? Get them for free EXP! Uh, guys, I think I might have some problems. Is there anything I have to activate? Manual aim, upgrade menus, tab, shift form, just dash, which is right click, okay? Level up. -oo. After a dash, next weapon attack gains 30% knockback. Uh, let's, do I want to go with a dash build? I guess we can try a dash build, sure, why not? I mean, you just have to keep pressing space on a right click. Okay, we're taking a lot more damage here, too. Let's get the shift going. So the big boys are doing a lot of damage to my car, right, or me right now. Actually, being in car form does heal me to full, unless there's just a lot of health packs just dropping. I didn't mean to pop this out early. Is my car energy based off of kills? It is. It is based off of kills. The Jewels of Kanju. This aura has a 50% chance to multicast, allowing it to hit enemies multiple times to say a war. Chuck's dead, finish the mission. Mission's done, and wait, everybody on the map is done. Now I gotta defeat the minions to progress, so I guess I'm progressing a little bit too quick. Moving towards the next uh, mini objective. What a deal. Do a little wheelie, baby. I've always wanted to do a wheelie. Destroy all threats, you kidding me? You telling me to go back to where I was? Are you joking? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just waddle my fat ass with a great sword uh, through then. With my little uh, shoulder coat. If I want to go out, I'm going to go out with style. Are they expecting me to die here early? Homie missile? Oh, this is a car upgrade. In vehicle form, Excalibur slashes nearby foes, dealing 70% weapon damage. Add hood mounted rockets that home in on a target, dealing 200% damage. Add forward firing, hood mounted machine guns that deal 100% damage. Did someone say fucking mounted machine gun on my car? Dude, say no more. We DACA. DACA all the way. Expand the size of the aura by 75% area. Extend shock and duration by 5 seconds. Increase their size by 40% area. That's also pretty good. We're going to Jewel of Manju first, though, because you guys, well, I don't know. This is early on. I feel like this weapon kind of sucks later. Doesn't seem like a weapon that does a lot of damage in the long run. That's a little bit beefy. Car form was a machine gun. How do, how do I use a machine gun? It's not using a machine gun. That, dude, that machine gun was a lie. Okay, you, you can't run him over, idiot. All right, so from what I'm seeing right now, we have environment interaction because of uh, objectives. They give us objectives, we fulfill it. But seems like multiple objectives that we can work with too. All right, next area, level up. Another size upgrade, dude. Say no more. Moving out. Can I press shift to actually move faster? Nope, that just made me back into human form. It's unlucky. All right, what about now? There should be ramps on the map too that you can actually utilize. I don't know if there's any boosters. It doesn't seem like there's any boosters. Yeah. All right. So our energy is actually accumulated through kills. I definitely feel like I should probably have not went with garlic here. Doesn't seem like it does enough damage for my taste. I don't see the machine gun proking. What's this over here? Is that the roof? It looks like, it looks like the roof. Leveling could be a little bit faster, and there should be like other upgrades, for example. Ooh! Attach a turret that fires a continuous stream of bullets. More bullets? For my vehicle? Bro, I'll say no more. What's up, Michelodian? Good morning, dude. You doing well? Oh. Oh, God, dude. It's a fucking drone. Yeah, I see the turret. It's, it's barely shooting, though. Not a fan of that drone, though. Looks like I've got a big ass mecha. All right, next level. More Rujin Arrow or a increased damage. Yeah, I probably should have grabbed like hard hitting skills. 
Another survivor. Kinda like that. It, it definitely reminds me of a survivor game. It had vehicles. I thought this was like a game. So when somebody gifted me this game, I thought it was like something that's very similar to Gunfire Reborn. But then I looked at the game, I was like, wait a minute, this is an actual survivor game. Mmm, attach a turret that fires and spread a bullet dealing 70% damage. Okay, we'll grab that one instead. I probably should have grabbed rockets because it looks like rocket does have like AoE coverage. Lots of Grand Theft Auto vibes for sure. This provides me the next objective. How much time do we have left? New mission, survive, resist enemy waves. Oh god, this is a tiny little parking lot. Cute little elites. I wish that at least gives me some kind of items. I don't know, man. That's a lot of elites. That is a hell of a lot of elites. More chakrams? Not really an ulti upgrade. No more chakrams anyways. Big eyes in this game? We're about to find out. I mean, the game doesn't have anime graphics. He plays a male character, but I definitely saw some female characters in the game. We just have to finish the stage first. I don't know how long a game can get. But it might be objective based. Don't know yet. You turn into a car, you just run over enemies even more. Champion uh, shift A. What about champion control shift? Or even control better, shift. champion control alt shift. Control alt delete shift. Mission completed. Easy fucking clap. Big boy boss. All right, there it is. It is dominion base. Sorry, objective base, not dominion. Why is everything evil just called Dominion? StarCraft, Dominion. This place, Dominion. Most of the MMOs that I played, Dominion. Just Dominion, Dominion, Dominion. Or Imperials. Are we the baddies? Can't I be the baddies? I want to be a baddie. Ow. Fucking stunlock, boys. I don't know why I just choose there, but I probably shouldn't have chosen that one. Every time you kill an enemy, you boost uh, rotation speed. I want to have more of chakrams. There's like a little slam dunk attack, and this little bot right here, too, is also kind of annoying. Bullets does have range. We gotta kill this elite first. This elite's actually shooting missiles. I'm liking the bosses in this game so far. Unique attacks. His name is Dynamo. <laughs> His name is fucking Dynamo, of course. Fuck. Bro, that happened so fast. It doesn't let me it doesn't give me a charge up time. That was fucking quick. Uh extend chakram duration by five, so one extra chakram. This is also gives me more chakram. It's increased size too. I think I maxed out my garlic, boys. All right, easy, easy fucking dodge. Easy fucking dodge. Kill the fucking cocksucker. I, I do like no damage. We might need more like meta progression or something. Or maybe levels. I think that's where grinding comes in. But I don't know how the scaling works in this game. Bro, you can barely use your car. What is going on? Am I just not allowed to use my car during a boss fight then? The bulky dude. Imagine if we have the technology to make a uh, mecha just like this in our current world. It'll probably just get missiled to death, to be honest with you. Where the, where the fuck is the military in the city? Unless this is the, the, the Dominion is the actual military. <laughs> and I'm like a, what, a rebel? Deck boarding build game? Dominion. Yeah, true! True! RTS? Dominion. Does Final Fantasy also have Dominions? I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy also has Dominions. Holy shot, dude, this, this fight takes fucking forever. So close to the next level. 
I'm pretty positive the circle that we have right now is not absolutely necessary. I just a little jump attack. Bro. Bro. Bro, he does a little slide fucking attack. And a roll attack too? That's insane. What you do next? Jump? There it is. There's a little fucking jump, dude. The fat roll. <coughs> Side spray. Only spray. Bounce attack. Roll attack. I think that's his four mechanics so far. This is roll. Yeah, he only has four mechanics. That's really easy to deal with. <laughs> That's the side spray. Regular spray. Is he just rotating between the four skills and that's it? Nope, he did another side spray. <laughs> Maze dependent on like the distance that I have on him. Fucking easy, boys. GG. You call this a game, dude. So easy. <laughs> Final Fantasy has a trading card game called Crystal Dominion, dude. I can't believe it. Wait, what? It just moves you to the next mission already? That's it? Oh, is it to see how far you can go? I don't like my build. Let's <laughs> go homing missiles. Ah, extend Chakum duration by seven, increasing area. Let's go with that. Not a lot of build potential, but maybe like different characters have different builds that you can follow. If it's the same exact build every fucking like game i'm just i'm probably just gonna rage quit i like having build varieties for these type of survivor games the graphic does look good though it doesn't look like it kills my pc either where the fuck is my enemies huh no hard cap on the, the environment Kind of just move around the area. This game is much better in damage by touching. That's why I enjoy so far. That's why I enjoy in Survivor games. I hate the fact that I run into an enemy and they, I automatically take damage. I hate that playstyle so much. I like it when a game actually focuses on like actual mechanics. Fuck. <laughs> you, you didn't see that, chat. You didn't see that. You didn't see shit. Asian driver, no survivor. Deep Rock Galactic did have that problem, but at the same time, I think the game was fine for an actual survivor game because they actually focus on different elements. It just really depends on the elements that you uh, give, right? If you have an, an, an interactable background, that's fine too. Giving me missions, mining, to further enhance your progression, utilizing rocks, I guess, or a funnel point. What did I go this way? What, what does that give? Is that a free upgrade? Oh, that's what it does. Add forward firing, mounted machine gun. Uh, we'll go with the turret, because the turret can shoot wherever the fuck it wants. I need build up energy, so we move off to the next objective area. It seems that we can only have six skills at once. I'm looking at the bottom right corner right now. And then there's passives for your car. No big suck yet, though. Waiting for that big suck. Uh, did you put that truck? Is that a fucking worm? <laughs> Wait, was that a worm right there? Who put that worm there? I don't want worms in my meal. Oh my god. Bro. Bro, we got the kitty cats, bro. Guys. Guys, we got the kitty cats from fucking day after tomorrow. Wait. Or is that edge of tomorrow? Is it is it called the edge of tomorrow? Those little sentinel looking things? I think it was kind of called like edge of tomorrow or some short. I don't remember. Okay, I need to turn uh, car here. Seems like uh, we are kind of falling behind in uh, progression. Going for that dunk attack, dude. It's kind of uh, annoying to deal with. Ooh, let's go with tornado thunderbolt strikes a random enemy every five seconds that's not enough aoe i'm looking for aoe skill and i think tornado is definitely the one to go for here lightning strike might be nice against bosses i don't know it really depends on how much like enemies on the map at the same time it is every five seconds after all 
So I don't think there's a lot of DPS potential with uh, Lightning Strike. 100% chance to multicast with the Jewels of Kahulu. I think that was what it was called, the Kahulus. Oh God, I'm dying. Guys, I'm dying. Boys, I need help. Somebody send backup. All right, but one mission down. Yeah, it's called Edge of Tomorrow. Wait, is it Edge of Tomorrow? Fuck, the one with Tom Cruise. <laughs> There's that movie with Tom Cruise where he's always going back in time in the middle of a war because every time he dies, uh, he gets a little flashback back in a little training camp. I think I was supposed to use that ramp to jump across. Yeah, it was called Edge of Tomorrow, right? But I never watched it. Yeah, it was Edge of Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was Edge of Tomorrow. It was a good movie. You should watch it or uh, finish it, Magma Salad. I'm always a fan of war movies, so Edge of War uh, Tomorrow is technically a war movie. With a different little bit of spicy spice in kick then, you know. Oh my god, dude, the Nidus Worms reminds me of the Deep Rock Galactic Worms. Because he spit at you too. <laughs> you have the spine crawler that's that does melee. And then you have like actual Nidus Worms that spits on you. Well, I'm dying, so good game, I guess. Dude, they drop fucking okay. Oh, I leveled up. Dude, leveling up uh, healed me. More area? Say no more, fam. My aura is, uh, is going to shit. It's not doing much. Aura needs my love. Day after tomorrow. Also, another good one. In Jigglerhot, however you spell his dumbass name. Hey, now. He's not a dumbass. He's a giga dumbass. Is definitely in my top 10. Yeah, exactly. See, there's other people who like it. I'm surprised you didn't finish it. Gotta go to bed. CBC. It's a great game. It's a great movie. Hell yeah. I guess I love Groundhog Day scenarios. Oh, did it happen during Groundhog to take back Europe? I never started. How do I finish? Oh, I thought I thought you watched a little. Oh my God, my mouse went off screen. I thought you watched a little bit of it and then uh, stopped watching. Great movie. Yeah, see, now, now, now it's three. Three people that recommends it to you. Wait, why is there two objectives? I'm going to pick up all these loots first. Loot. Loot. Level up. Ooh. Oh. Let's go with gun turret here. Gun turret and more chakrams. I'm committing too much to the chakram build. It's so fucking tall right now. 4-4. Four, four. Wait, is there a level limit? There might be a level limit on my builds. Oh, it seems like every time I choose an upgrade, it also increases the level. Interesting. Like an overall level limit. Kind of similar to the levels for a Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, I think. Superhero themed vampire survivor clone something like that. It feels like it. I Think we were supposed to die on the first map and not be able to get this far, but I somehow got this far. I Just know my builds all right. I'm just very good at these type of games Lots of grant of uh, grant of Auto vibes. Oh, hey, they're a little mecha Adorable It's a hell diver mecha. Just kidding. Wait, that mecha looks like the mecha from the game that we played yesterday, from Sliders, but it's not. Level up, ooh, more tornadoes. Weapons have a 10% chance to bleed target for 40% damage. I'm gonna go with Divine Win. I think bleed would have been nice to fight for bosses still. Maybe I should have grabbed the bleed. Maybe you can just stack a bleed. The guy inspired from a manga to make the movie is actually pretty similar to be honest. Ooh, name is all you need is kill. All you need is kill. Oh, I remember reading about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I checked out the manga already. I don't remember. Or 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 ReZero. <laughs> Isn't it the same thing as ReZero? <laughs> I read it, it is good. Okay, I gotta check it out myself then. Kamikaze upgrade? We need the Kamikaze upgrade for sure. The fuck out of the way. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Boys, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead here. We're dead. M maybe not. Let it cook. 
Let me cook. Any heals? I see a couple heals sitting here, well. Oh my god, full HP again. Let's fucking go, baby. Still kicking in. That has to be another elite. Did we not just kill a giant ass robot similar to him? There's too many mobs in front of the radio tower. I want to just kill the radio tower and move to a different area. How would we unlock new characters unless I have to explore for the new characters? I'll use the car whenever I need to like heal up, I guess. Because I don't think you take damage while inside of a car. You just lose more energy. And you gain energy for killing them. Never trust an Asian driver to be your driver, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, really? You're gonna make me crash into a rock twice? You gonna do that to me? I'm trying to I'm trying to show off to my chat here that I can drive. New new mission, ambush. Defeat the trap. Got it. All his death and death uh engine tomorrow made me laugh. Breaks his back and he's like, I think I'm okay. She just shoots him. <laughs> yeah, <don't, don't. laughs> Wait, you're spoiling it, you bastard! He's spoiling it for Magma Salad. He hasn't washed it yet. Well, good fuck him. He should have washed it. No, I'm just kidding. Carry on a guy with a broken back when you can just reset the day. Exactly. She understands. She knows. She's been through what he has been. Easy clap. My back is broken. <laughs> God, dude, Edge of Tomorrow is so good. I'm surprised that I can get into Edge of Tomorrow, but I can't watch ReZero. I watched one season, ReZero, and never touched any of the extra seasons. I think it's on the third season now, too. Ten-year-old, not my fault. I, I, you know what? You're, you're forgiven. I, I truly understand. We need more mecha anime, man. Today's season was okay-ish. Wish there's more anime to watch. Ambush dead, baby. Not even fucking close. Incoming boss already? Oh god, he has a big fucking laser beam sword. Well, that's a good start. We got levels though. Uh, let's get homing missiles and then shotgun turret. A shotgun turret. Increase the tornado size by 38% or has a 150% chance of multicast. So even more multicast. This is a shotgun upgrade. Passing through them increases agility and reduces cat uh, dash cooldown for tornadoes. That sounds kind of lit, but more chakrams, I guess. Divine wind or Coltel's breath here. I'm gonna go with bigger area. No, let's let's get, let's increase damage for the tornado. Always fucking scam, dude. What's up, Jock Kick Alien? Hope you're doing well. Good morning. Get scammed, idiot. Idiot. In my opinion, it tries to be hard to be uber complicated. Galaxy old brain when there's no need for it. Man, if I want to watch big brain stuff, I'll just watch Outnoah Zero or 86. Well, 86 isn't really big brain stuff. Outnoah Zero, though. Outnoah Zero is hella big brain. <laughs> One of my favorites. And it kind of makes sense because, you know, it's laws of physics and whatnot. Turn into a car? Yeah, I'm Transformer, dude. I'm a human Transformer. I'm dead, though. I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah! Yo, dude, I fucking, I just dodged that fucking, oh my god, what a dodge. There's no heals left, I'm, I'm, now I'm done. Guys, 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 I gotta concentrate. I've been reading chat, I'm just taking hits because I'm reading chat. No, there's a projectile right there, there's so many projectiles! Yeah, you can turn into a car in this game. It's, it's like, basically your full evolution, and you fight bosses with your main character. Okay, we got heals, we cooking, we cooking. Yo, look, look at the name of the boss, it's called Chad. <laughs> His name is Chad. What do we do like no damage? Where's my damage? My damage is gone. What? Not even fucking close. 
When you're gonna start hitting him? Do you know how much shit there is? Man's like fucking teleporting all over the place. So he does that little charge thing three times. And he has a big ass green laser sword. These worms are so annoying. These damn goddamn worms. Not even fucking close, baby. Yeah, I think the worms are the most annoying part so far because they shoot projectiles. <laughs> Wait, is he spinning to winning? He's spinning with that winning, baby. Uh, I didn't expect the triple hit. That caught me off guard. How, how, how slow is my dash cooldown? Holy fuck. This is so much shit. I don't think this is a great spot to be in right now in terms of fighting enemies. There's a lot of like natural barriers kind of blocking me off. I think we're gonna back off a little bit. At least I'm killing the smaller mob with this uh, smaller mobs with this build. But I'm doing like no damage versus the big boy. Is he dropping mines? He drops mines too? Is that somebody else dropping mines? This game needs to relax, bro. There's so much shit. Oh my god, I didn't mean to dash to the right. What the fuck was that? Was my, my key. Dude, my hand was on the uh, the A button to move to the left. Yeah, I might be done here. Just kidding. Major look. Car mode. Oh, wait. Those mines are going to be hurtful versus the car that is. I think what we want to do with the car is not ram into the enemy, but actually kite towards the side. I wonder if dashing also gives me an eye for him. Reminds me of you that game? Is that is that a game that you use uh <clears throat> post drop kick alien? You thought you didn't know how to read? I don't. See that's that's not a normal word. It says C H 4 D. That, that's not a normal word at all. Why am I still alive? Just to suffer. 265 damage. Holy hot, sweet baby Jesus in Christ. Let's take a looky look here. Every third attack is more damage after a dash. Next weapon attack gains 30% knockback and 200% weapon damage. I think we're gonna go with Hero's Might. It's every third strike and I don't have enough attack speed. Wish there was a way to increase attack speed. Chris shift to pay respect, baby. Yeah, so every time he does a little dash and... Okay, I just got hit by something else there. Oh, those, those tigers are fucking me up. Those tigers are fucking me up. Not good, not good. Excuse you. Still holding the line, boys. I'm gonna have to shift here. I'm trying to shoot. What would it let me shoot? Oh. He's at half HP. Maybe, I, I, I probably should just die. We'll, we'll probably unlock a new character, like a waifu character. I hope. It is taking forever to kill this man. We're about to hit the 30 minute mark. <laughs> Surprised that we lived this long for 30 minute mark. Gonna grab them heels. Alright, I don't think we're gonna survive this. Let's just kill ourselves. There's not enough time. Hit me. Beat the shit out of me. Come on. That did like no damage. You hit like a bitch. Just wanna point that out. Upgrade? Well, I saw the upgrade. I wanna see if there's meta progression. I think you can play this with friends. Like, this, this might be co op. New heroic gift, Camelot's Justice, Arthur Pendragon. A 10% chance on weapon hit to unleash a piercing arcane sword. Deals 50% weapon damage, plus 25% per level. Next. 
Labyrinth of the Minotaur. Channels the Fury of the Minotaur as knockback enemy deals 40% damage, 20% per level upon colliding with other enemies. Meanwhile, weapon strike gains plus 5 knockback, ensuring foes are forcefully repelled by the champion spite. Tap into Primal Rage by swiftly dispatching 5 enemies within 1 second. Activating a frenzy that boosts movement and attacks me by 30% for 3 seconds plus 2 per level. Uh, weapon strike gains 10 knockback, reverberating, reverber, uh, sorry, reverberating bow. Wait, so this is a knockback build. Rain down thunderous blow, resonating with the fury of a charging bowl. Dealing 40% AoE damage plus 20% per low level. I feel like I do like no damage that entire round. Queen of the Heavens. So these are like new skills that we just unlock. Okay, so there, there is skill unlocks. Cool. Channel Ishtar's Revenge. Materializing her crystal bow before the champion. I'm just going to look at the damage. <laughs> so this is like a projectile build here. Dealing 100% damage, 50% per level, embodying the brilliance of cosmic power. Is there any, like, synergy, like, defense break or some sort? First of the Frost Giant. Seems like a CC. Inflicts chill. We got our first tag. Well, there's knockback. There's chill. Okay. There's flat damage from the archer. Uh, chilling mist. The blank is the area with the chilling mist. A reminder of the frosty tundras of his primordial realm. Turbo blade slice through enemies dealing 200% damage. You put it putting some blades on the wheels. Yo, we got the chariot design again. You know how chariots have that little like blade sticking out in the center of the wheel? I think it's like the same thing here. Side mounted energy whip that lash out at enemies every two seconds, dealing 150% damage. Has a base crit chance of 10%. Awesome. Oh, is that a new character? Yep, it is. Athena, the goddess of justice. Sonic Discus. Wings of Zephyr. Doppel the dice. Uh, Doppel the disc. Do wait, Doppel discus. Doppel discus. Phalanx toss. So we do have different characters. Choose bleed for so many levels. We did get bleed once, and I just skipped it. Champions Online, a superhero theme MMORPG ancient game. I think I, re I remember playing that. I remember playing a. Uh, I'm pretty sure I played a, cha a superhero game before. I forgot what it was called. It was okay-ish. Didn't really spend too much time in the game, though. I think villains were always overwhelmed because there's a lot more population the uh, good people side, I guess. Alright. That was all of our unlock. Yes. Huh. Athena, I'm not really used to Athena's design there. Upgrades. You get this old eternal green uh, ash tree in Norse mythology. It stands in the middle of the world with branches that stretch over all the nine realms. Each realm hangs on its own branch, but if the tree should shake or fall, so will all the realms. Spending shards and dust on the nodes will improve your ability to survive. Unlock nodes will increase your power. Stats nodes increase base stats. Feature nodes unlock new gameplay elements. Holy fucking shit. That is some banger music. Locked ability to revive an additional time per run. Cool. Wait, that's the first fucking... Wait, that's the first unlock? What the fuck? Lock the weapon gift that increased the damage done by the hero's weapon. I don't know what that is. More damage? I think we're gonna go with left for damage. Increase weapon damage from 5%, max of 15%. Increase weapon attack speed by 5%. Uh, It also costs the blue crystals here. Gonna use one there. Oh, ooh. Cost two blue crystals now. Lock the power gift that increase the base power for our attacks and uh, abilities. Oh, these are uh, these are like meta progression upgrades. Not meta progression upgrades, but like um, these are synergy upgrades. Just like unlock the weapon gifts that increase the damage done by the hero's weapon. Uh, let's put one point to the weapon one here too. How do I get more of those blue crystals? Just finishing missions, I guess. So quite a bit of meta progression, as you can see here. This is this huge. Different stages, we got the Lost Dunes, the Minion Cities, the Archipelago, the Alpine Abyss, the Firestorm Fortress, uh, the question mark, all right. Well, we made it to like the final boss in Lost Dunes. Apparently like this different areas that you can start in too. But that sounds kind of cool, but wait. Oh, that, that's just uh, coming soon. I think we want to start in this North District later. Uh, champions. Arthur, the champion of Camelot. Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. Athena, the goddess of justice. Gilgamesh, Sumerian demigod. He looks like a dwarf. Tomo, the fearless archer. I think that's like a Japanese type. Vegigante. Veggie, 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 veggies. <laughs> I, I guess he's a vegetarian. Young legend of the defiance. Look at all these badass looking cars, dude. Where's all? Where's my fox girls? There's no fox girls. Feels bad, man. Rani, the warrior of time. 
Dude, she has six arms. It, sounds, it looks so badass. Jesse James, it's high noon. All right. Jonah Vark, all right. Defender of Orleans. Yasake, African Samurai. Oh. Oh, these are all coming soon. Oh. So right now, we only have six heroes. I know they all have cars. Different cars, different car builds. They, they, they make Gilgamesh look like a rapper? It does. There's a the glass in that little chain, dude. Is that chain right there? I can't see. I think I have to lock him first. Reach stage four without using your revive. Kill 10,000 enemies in a single run to unlock Tomo. I want to unlock Tomo. She, she's hot. <laughs> she's hot, bro. That's why I want to unlock Tomo. We'll try out uh, Athena and see if she's good or not. Celestial gifts. The meta progression unlocks. We have achievements. Okay. Music was a little... T I like how music just dies out. The fuck? I don't remember clicking that, but okay. Vertical sync. Camera shake. Let's turn that off. Definitely noticed it a little bit, but we definitely don't want uh, camera shake because, you know, it gets a little bit sickening. Yeah, you can also play multiplayer here, by the way. There's quick play, multiplayer, create private lobby, join private lobby, yada yada, get codes if you really want to play. Uh, as someone who has a lot of social anxiety, can y'all just fuck off, please? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, like 7k kill. Yeah, if I can't, like, I feel like you're supposed to get to the third map at least. Oh, man. So there's your uh, choose your heroes. Weapon damage. Arthur does, like, no damage. What's her attack speed? Her attack speed... What? I love how my mouse automatically goes to the ready. Can you not do that? I hate that shit. What is this? Like, uh... Whatever. Oh, uh, let's see what she does. What a weird way of carrying the shield around. Complete three missions to activate the boss. Give me that level up. Throw the shield. Okay, so it's infinite pierce. It bounces. Oh, my God. Dude, a shield that bounces around, bro. It's my favorite weapon. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite weapon, guys. This is it. This, this is my favorite weapon. All right, so how do, how do we want to build our character here? We got new upgrades. Can you make the lobby? Yeah, of course I can make the lobby. And then people can just join. But I have social anxiety. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually able to play with, like, other people in Helldivers, but... Being in voice comment and all that stuff? Yeah. That's when social anxiety kind of kicks in. When people talk to me, like, is that is that a is that a is that a voice in my head or something? Well, what's going on here? I'm I'm trying to push towards this like uh, great arrow. This thing gives you a free level up. Pretty sure it does. Not really a good spot to grind up. You know, I could have used a car to get over here. I'm an idiot. Well, free level up. Spawn shields around a vehicle that deflects uh, projectile knockbacks enemy for 175 weapon damage. Increase the chance to throw a shield at an additional target by two. Shield bounces one more time for Doppler Discus. Is this upgrading my main character's base attack from the looks of it? Add hood mounted rockets. That's a global skill. There's also phalanx uh, toss. I think I'm going to go with Doppel Discus because it just looks fun. Heroes might. Every third attack is empowered to deal 150 uh, weapon damage. This would be nice if I had like an attack speed boost. Swiftly fire arrows of star energy in the direction the hero's facing. Arrow deals in, uh, 50 damage. You know what? We'll do a directional build because we technically have a directional build here. That could be relatively useful for anti-bosses too. Alright. Do we want to take a look at our cars? Nah, let's, 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 we'll take a look at our car once the uh, mission starts spawning. What are you guys getting stuck by? What are you guys doing over there? Actually. Stop. <laughs> They're actually being inhibited by a stop sign. Look at him. Look at him thinking he can reach me. Idiot. Not really doing a lot of damage so far, though. I think we want to go with the every thir uh, third attack uh, build, probably. Thunderbolt! Every third attack, knockback enemy increases 40% collision damage, and weapon itself, uh, knockbacks increase. I think we're going to go with Hero's Might. Like, the more I can just one-tap mobs, the better, I guess. Not to mention it bounces with the shield. I think that's a lot better for Arthur, though. Not, not particularly her. Feels kind of stupid. Because I don't have attack speed. <laughs> We just grinding them. All right, first missions here. Uh, let's move. Holy fucking shit, dude! Dude, dude what a fucking car design. That car design looks so badass. It seems like if I run over enemies, I do take damage with that car, though. I think I'm not supposed to have collision. This walk cycle is dumb looking. What? You making fun of her the way she walks, bro? Yo, in this time and age, you're gonna get canceled. I'm just kidding. 
Saying straight to physical attack animation, but it looks goofy to me. What's wrong with her it's, uh, moving like that? That's like a jogger's run. Yeah, that, that looks like a jogger's run. Wait, no. Her back is like really arced. Yeah, look at her back. <laughs> now, now that you're mentioning it. She's trying to keep her back straight while running. I don't know if that would be a jogging run-ish. Maybe she's a hip-hop artist. She probably got the moves. Like Jaguar. Made it. All right, first mission. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Defeat the trap. All right. Easiest fucking mission ever. I hope. Oh, it's a big boy robot. That's going to be hard. <laughs> I'm about to run over some stuff here. <laughs> it's fucking... God damn, it's so funny to watch enemies just get run over. Uh, manifest Ymir to unleash a code of frost, dealing 20% damage per second and 25% chance of chilling enemies. Let's go ahead and get Ymir's howl. There's the aura again. Wrath of Olympus. Weapon hits above a 10% chance to bleed enemies for 40% weapon damage. So we're doing a weapon build now with Wrath of Olympus. From the looks of it. Holy fuck, what? That's like Dragon's Breath. That's a lot of damage. That was awesome. Do it again. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go with a dot damage build and see if we can actually do more damage to bosses. But it doesn't seem like it's great for clearing out mobs. It's not a lot of dodge potential, too. With all these projectiles I have right now. Arrows have a 50% chance to transform into a piercing ray of starfire, dealing 150% damage in its path. Let's fucking go. What a weird projectile build that we're doing right now. How much of a chance, though? Can you zoom in? You cannot zoom in, no. You cannot zoom in to fortune. What the fuck? What was that? Is it because I ran into the fucking mech? I think it's because I ran into the mech. I think our boss doesn't do enough damage. <laughs> For now, that is. Wait, does that mean all my... Wait, is it only my auto attack that inflicts bleed? Or is that, like, also my, uh, skills? Thunderbolt, Regenerium, Aura Burst. Starfire Arrow explode upon impact, dealing... Ooh. Now we got a uh, AoE. Okay. Okay, we're cooking. Excuse you. Running shit over again. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's... Okay, I, I, I think it's because I'm running into enemies that's doing damage. Or maybe they're just shooting along the way and it's the projectiles hitting me while I'm in my car. Not too particularly sure. Increase weapon damage by 20%. I'm going to go with Ymir's Howl. I think we want to go to all our skills first before we go for damage. That only affects our weapon damage too. I do want to have attack speed upgrades, not just damage. But that doesn't really seem like the skill that I want currently. We need more meta progression if possible. Ambush completed. Defeat the trap. Next mission's already available. Moving out, Commander. Is that a roundabout? Oh my god. Defeat all the targets? Sounds easy enough. Most targets are already down. Oh. Hello. All right, so that, that was a spawner, I see. Holy fuck, we're doing so much damage now. DPS number goes up. Wait, you can freeze them? So it seems like freeze doesn't act like a CC, like a stun, but it acts like something that just prevents them from being able to move. Why did I just bounce off the ball? Charges. Never man bites the dust. All right. Next area. Let's move. Where's big boy at? Was there only one big boy? Maybe I'm leveling up a little bit too fast. Tenta Lash! Side mounted energy whips that lash out an enemy that's a car upgrade. Gun turret. Doppler discus. Give me another one of those. Maybe we have a reverse. Ymir's Howl. I'm liking Ymir's Howl a lot. I think Ymir's Howl is doing a lot of damage here. So I think we're going to stick with Ymir's Howl. That was like a triple upgrade for all of the builds that we want. Uh, This one, though. 
I don't know if I want Tornadoes again. I think Tornado was okay-ish. It wasn't, like, absolutely amazing or anything, but it does continue its damage. Let's go with Divine Wind. Why not? Next mission. Destroy all threats. Unlock you. I hate how the mission is just so spread out through the map. So you have to, like, walk towards it. Why can't it just be, like, a little bit more closer? Why does it be, like, completely across the map? Is there a map? I can't press open. Or I can't press M to open a map, unfortunately. She power walking in yoga pants sounds good to me. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to think of a reference of the uh, the way she walks. There's, there's definitely, a, like, an anime reference. It's, like, one of those extremely sassy way of walking. Aftershock, Phalanx Toss for the shield. I'm oh, shifting out. No, let's go with Phalanx Toss. Ooh. Creating an icy blast, exploding outward, 100% damage, chilling nearby enemies. Is that a new skill? That looks like a new skill. It's not a new skill. That's an upgrade. Interesting. Don't know what exactly what it does, though. So we want to try to get 10,000 kills because we want that archer. It's gonna take some time. No one buys dust. This villain's doing a lot be better so far compared to Garlic, dude. Why is Garlic so shit in every game that we have played so far? Every fucking game, Garlic has been ass. Garlic is one of those, uh, like, skills that is extremely effective early on. But once you get to, like, boss's level, it does, like, no damage. Hell, it doesn't even kill the, like, the minions fast enough. It's just Sedge. But it provides a continuous damage, I guess. I am nuking him down. Oh, the Vagamola. Yeah, Rujinora. Fucking garlic. Disgusting. Icy Shard it is. I think Thunderbolt can cook, though. Thunderbolt's a single target, I, think, I believe. I don't think it provides AoE. Is all the bleed that's like going off, too? Unlucky. Boss time! I am the architect of destruction. Meet my finest creations. Oh, we gotta move towards him? Unlucky again. We're not supposed to be running over enemies. <laughs> what a weird spot to be in. What the fuck is that, bro? He's a rocket launcher. Come over here. I'm not fighting you over here, dude. There's like no space to kite. Oh god, I did 191 damage. Bro, we we're fighting like different types of uh, bosses so far. That's awesome. Alright, rocket barrage. Laser beam. That we can just dodge through. His name is the Fat Boy. It's not very nice. <laughs> uh, let's go. Caltrops. No, let's go with Double Discus. It's more damage from our main weapon. Replendant's Wing. That's where the tornado. After a dash, next weapon gains dirty knockback. Uh, let's go with tornado. We're already committed with tornadoes too. Dude, his HP's going down. I'm doing a lot significantly more damage. I think Arthur doesn't really do much damage in general. Maybe I should use my car for, like, just moving around the map instead of DPS, because I don't think you're supposed to be using it for DPS. Or getting out of a sticky situation. Come on, chill is a little bitch ass. Come on. Finish him. Finish him. He's not even close to being finished, but finish him. Ah! Holy fuck, that did half my HP? What the fuck? I'm too close. I'm, 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 I'm doing my... my, my my attacks are supposed to be close. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to shift to get out with the car, too. I wasn't able to. Alright, probably save my dodge for the big old AoE stomp, I guess. It does two rocket barrages. Simultaneously. Maybe, there it is. Big boy stomp. Come back in. That laser's terrifying. 
This is a quarter of my, my health. All right, uh, I need ne next level here. Starfire arrows explode, increase tornado duration. We're gonna go with Aurora Burst. Kind of curious what Minotaur Slash is, but we're gonna have to check that out another time. We're going tall right now. Trying to go tall with the uh, skills that we have currently. Yeah, I need more bleed. I want to try to get more bleed. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Not even fucking close, man. Try harder. Should have made a bigger mech. Easy fucking clap. What's up, Muffin Man Prime? How's it going, dude? Good morning. That's some champion shit you got there. Thanks. Wait, did I read the title wrong? Nah, dude. I took a massive champion shit. Of course I did. I took a massive champion dump on that mech, that is. Hey! All right, anyways, we got upgrades. Uh, Phalanx Toss. That it? Was that it? All right, how do I leave? Space? Hey. Hey. It's a lot more damage compared to Arthur. I, I just find it humorous how we have gods and then we just modernize them. That's so fucking funny to me. We're gonna grab that free level up first. Fuck out of the way then. It's not my fault he's there. Fuck! Get out of way! Bro! Oh no! My car! Alright, that's typical of an Asian driver. Um, I didn't expect that at all. I didn't, I didn't know <laughs> there's physics in this game for your vehicle. If you don't have enough uh, momentum, I guess you're just not climbing that ramp. Alright, we can do it this time. Fuck me in the asshole, dude. I hate this game. I can't drive for shit. I hate it when I have to drive, man. So, uh, I want to be in a passenger seat. Hanging on dear life. Please. Wait, I can just walk it up. I can just walk up the ramp. <laughs> I, I realize I can just walk up the ramp. Oops. Okie dokie then. Damn. Five levels of Doppler Dickus. Disc Dickus. Yeah, yeah. Doppler Dickus. For sure. Uh, we're gonna go with Ice Shard here. Wait, what was that laser beam? Well, what the fuck was that, dude? We had multiple laser beams. That's not my shield, is it? No. My shield's also fucking shit up. New mission available. You're a car? I'm a, I'm a car, yeah. I'm transforming. Ramp time! I get the fuck out of the way then. It's not my fault you're in the way. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Just ran into the middle of the ball. <laughs> Just ran them all over. Uh, good morning, Rink Quinn. Happy Monday. I will come, come in. Come one. Come all. It's Arrow's passive. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the infinite Pierce passive, right? Yeah. You right. You right. Destroy all threats. On my way, then. Oh, off I go, then. Oh, you can actually climb those mountains, too? And I can literally just climb up the mountain by walking. Okay. <laughs> I thought I would need a vehicle, but... Eh. Guess not. We're about to hear head on for the next level. Might as well kill a couple of uh, mobs. There it is. Increase weapon damage for 20%. Uh, that's the tornado upgrade. Don't want to go with weapon damage. I'm going to go with tornado upgrade instead. I think tornado upgrade is better. Nah, probably not. I think weapon upgrade would have been better because it bounces around. I'm throwing three discs at once. I should be going weapon upgrade. What the fuck am I doing? Oh boy, Max. Two Max. Double the fun. Not doing as much damage to them as I would hope. <laughs> Fucking spin to win. It's a little bit tanky. Got Nidus Worms into Dune. Definitely a Dune reference. Alright, guys. We do have ad break. Hi, uh, ad break peasants taxes. All right, pay, pay up, boys. Give me them pennies. Come on, pay it up. God's power over horsepower. <laughs> it is. Ugh. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of starving.
I'll put it time for another bite. Mm. You what's up? You guys, what's up? It's beef, rice, broccoli, avocado that my mom gave me. Got a love avocados. I'm a great cook. I never get food poisoning for my own food, all right? Never. Never. Give me a second. Well, back, guys. Wait, this beef is actually delicious. So you stretch. Oh, all right. Ready? Let's kick some ass. Well, can do this. So significantly, significant damage difference so far against bosses. Not a lot towards mobs, but we have AOE skills. Maybe I'm just too weak. I don't think we have enough meta progression. So how do we get those blue crystals? Oh, you, I think, okay. I think those crystals are the crystals that we picked up on the map to get a free level up. Those are the ones that we want to grab as soon as possible then. You just, so you get like what, one, one per map then? Oh. Maybe keep dying over and over again, just grab the first two map. Oh my God, that's a lot, that's a lot of grinding, ugh. Ugh. Get him, get him. Knock him out, fuck him up. All right, it's one. That took fucking forever. What the hell did it take forever uh, to kill that one mech? Oh, can I actually go underneath this bridge? Hey, squeeze me. Keep moving. These missions are all over the goddamn place. Is this the first mission or is this the second? This is our first fucking mission? <laughs> oh, I'm about to die again. Things are not looking good. I just noticed that tornado is actually following um, enemies around. It's like a little soft lock. Locks on target until he dies, I guess. It'd be nice if the tornado actually focuses the bosses down instead of just a regular mob. Oh, fuck off. Stupid bugs, dude. I hate bugs. I still think a good bug's a dead bug. Rap of Olympus! 10% chance to bleed enemies for 60% of weapon damage. Hey, we grab those. We need more, we need more bleed. Thunder Strike, Divine Win. Does 100% damage for five turns. Really don't want to get Aura. And I don't really want Thunderbolt. So we'll just go with Divine Win. I still don't think the Divine Aura is good enough for DPS. I'm doing a lot more DPS with the current build that we have right now. <laughs> Too bad that Aura fucking sucks, dude. Maybe I was supposed to just grab Aura and not Chakram. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think Chakram was a waste of my uh, skill. I believe Aura was fine. Then you go for like a hard hitting weapons, I guess, or a hard, or a hard hitting skill for bosses. Typically the way to play for like these survivor type games. You go for something that can give you map clear and you give something that can give you elite clears. I've never learned from my mistakes. <laughs> or you try to go for a weapon that can probably do both. All right, first mission is done. Uh, two missions to go. Thank God this objective is right here. It tells me to destroy portals. Two fucking portals. Damn it. Cross me, Golden. Excuse me, coming through. And, oh my god, really? <laughs> I killed my car in the middle of the fucking jump. Engine just dies in the middle of the jump. It's like Need for Speed, uh. Need for, uh, need for Speed scenario there. You can climb these solar panels, can you? Guess not. Dude, putting solar panels in a dune? That's some high maintenance upkeep there. I learned this from, uh, you know, Surviving Mars. I play a lot of Surviving Mars, obviously. Good good player at it, by the way. Very good player. 
I, I know my maintenance upkeeps. And sand. Sand planets are typically a ba or a heavy dust or sand planets is, uh, is a bad spot to put solar panels. But you do get a lot of like solar power energy from it too. But is it really worth the maintenance cost? Is it? Might as well just ship coal over to Mars instead. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, we got level ups that we can spend. I gotta use my level ups. Six discus jumps? Dude, it's cooking. War blast? Uh, tornado size increase. I'm gonna go with war burst because we need more AoE skill. There's also ice shard here, but we're gonna go with another war burst. Maybe Aurora Burst is worth it. It just goes one. Give me the fucking car. I wish there was more Survivor games with gear. Gear upgrades. I want gear upgrades, goddammit, dude. Death was died, new update's about to come in soon too. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Things are not looking good here. This is such a horrible spot to find in. It's so it's so congested. And it's one portal down, that took fucking forever. Wait. How do we get up? Can I climb this hill? Oh my god, you can. Are they- are they coming out of the Ninus Worms? Oh, don't tell me this is on the highway. It's on the highway! No! Very level 21. Uh, arrows have a 50% chance to transform into a piercing ray of starfire. So it's now a 15% chance. Okay, we'll take that then. I do want more piercing, if possible. Anything that gives me a lot more AoE. Worms are getting instantly clapped, too. That's unfortunate. That's a lot of kills to get, uh, lot, that's a lot of enemies kills, though. Alright, this is gonna be extremely rough. There's no kiting space. There's a lot of enemies coming towards me. Some worm is just putting acid floors on the ground. Okay, that might be a little bit easier since they have to go all the way around. You see those guys? <laughs> get knocked off, idiot. Wait, I can get knocked off too. I gotta be careful. Those cats are really annoying. Fuck me left and right. Careful, careful. They can knock you off. Not even close to the next level yet. That was close. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Slice two enemies, dealing 200% damage. Spawn shields around vehicle that deflect projectiles and knock back enemies for 225% weapon damage. Shift bomb. Spawns an explosive when shifting in or out, dealing 300% damage. What is our damage? Like, what do we have like a base damage that we scale off of? Oh yeah, our attack. Yeah, duh. Uh, there's Radiance, Ice Shard. Fires an Ice Shard that explode upon impact. I kind of want more Ice Shard. But those rays are kind of nice to have. It's a lot of AoE. I'm gonna go with Ice Shard here. Killing Porters took fucking forever. Alright, alright. Easy ones. This is an easy one, I think. We, we, we should have enough DPS. I hope. 21 minutes. Last time it took us like uh, 30 minutes to die to the boss at half HP. What the fuck is that? Bro, he chunky. What is with this game making chunky as bosses? 
He's yeah, thick as fuck. That just increases damage. I think we'd rather just go for more bleed damage here. For Wrath of Olympus. You have a bigger pickup range in car? I think it's, it is. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god, you're right. Bruh, fucking good eye. Didn't even notice that. Really good eye. The band moving to our car, move to the next area. Bruh. Car energy goes down so quick. There's too many mobs, so I can't really run through them. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Can I go through here? I cannot. HP is too low. This isn't a really good spot to, like, fight bosses. Well, it's okay, -ish, I guess. It's a lot of uh, kiting spaces. Multiple HP, we're good, we're good. We have a significant amount of damage on the uh, mini bosses so far. Kind of curious how much we can do towards a uh, big boy boss. And that shield bounce does help a lot too, since it's bouncing off the bosses. Oh, uh, where's the boss? There he is. Oh my god, I can't drive for shit. No, he blocked away! Three levels. Slice and dice through enemies. Turrets. Uh, attach a turret that fires a spread of bullets, dealing 70 damage. Slice through enemies. Slice through enemy it is. Gotta go with star fire arrow there. Gotta curious what fireball does. Maybe it does burn damage. Maybe we should have grabbed that too. That's, that's more dot damage we can use. I don't know if Thunderbolt also apply like Electrify or some sort. Uh, but hey, more of a reverse, I guess. Yeah, this is an okay-ish area for an arena. Ah, same exact fucking boss. The fat boy. He's back. He's back, boys. It's not that really annoying shield guy anymore. Unlucky. Come on, do your explosion, bitch. That wasn't his explosion, but okay, that works too. Uh, can I move through these rocks? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm already doing better than the last one. By an incredibly large amount, that is not the main boy. I am actually really close to dying. Uh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I need health, man. We can kind of just pierce him to death, too. I do need to kill some of these smaller mobs, see if we can get some health pickups. I get. <gasps> what? That what hit me? Wait, wait, what? Alright, to be fair, I had 1 4th HP. And we noticed that did 1 4th damage to your health. Damn. Our kill speed is so low. Last time we had 7,000 kill. We're half of that right now. So Arthur is typically better. Okay, I definitely should grab the, um, the, uh, the pulse. I think pulse was fine to upgrade as soon as possible. Let's go Starfire Arrow. Unlucky. We were supposed to get to stage four without dying. Very unlucky. That is a random ass movement speed boost. Too early. No! Yeah! <laughs> Bro! I think each run is long just because I have like almost no damage. I think we need more damage, man. 
On hit, shield has a 15% chance to burst for 50% weapon damage to nearby enemies. Shield weapon damage increased by 50%, plus 25 per stack. It's just that we have like a lack of meta progression, so we're not able to move as fast. Divine win. DPS 69. Nice. Starfire Arrow 219. Heroes Might 181. And everything else is garbage. What the fuck? So Heroes Might did a lot of damage. I think Heroes Might here might have been our um, anti-boss. But Starfire Arrow did a lot. I think it's because of the Pierce. Ymir's how? What, what about the uh, the Doppler disc? I don't know why it's showing zero. What was my basic attack? It doesn't show my basic attack. I think Heroes Might affects our basic attack then. Level 4. Dude, wait. 181 damage from Heroes Might. But it's only level 4. Look at Starfire Arrow. 10. I think Heroes Might might have been a lot better compared to uh, Starfire Arrow. Chunky Boy wins again. Oh my god. Can't fucking believe that, dude. Died twice there. Can't believe it. Unlock the max energy gift that increases the vehicle maximum energy. Oh, cool. Increase vehicle energy regen by one or max two. Increase vehicle base energy. I want damage for the main character. The vehicle doesn't really do as much damage compared to the character yet. Lock the area gift that increases the size of some abilities and projectiles. Oh, grab that. So we have only two orbs or two crystals. <coughs> increase the size of attacks by 5%. That's <coughs> a guaranteed attack. Excuse my little bitch. Yeah, sorry. Increases hero base power by three. Base power. Is that like base power of damage? That seems like a base power of damage there. I might go with the size of attack instead. I don't know yet. No, let's go with damage. Lock the power gives and increase the base power for attacks and abilities. Actually, let's go with that. Yeah, you want more base. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of percentage, but not enough base. So how do, how do I get more of these crystals? Can I just convert some of these like dust into crystals or some sort? I don't like North District. I'm going to go back to the regular district. Downtown. Uh, still have it unlocked, Tomo. Unlucky. Now we can probably like focus on... I should probably go back to Arthur again. I kind of like Arthur a lot. Just focus on his build. So he's more of a, clo a close combat oriented character. Wait, how do I swap out characters here? Oh, no, no, you swap out in the middle of the run. Where EXP bonus? Yeah, we don't see eco items. Where's my eco? I want new characters already. Come on, man. Actually, let me take a look through each character again. Give me a second. Reach stage three without using a revive. For Wukong, stage four for Gilgamesh. Still need 10,000 kill for Tamo. And if I want a 10,000 kill, I have to go with no damage upgrade. Or no damage for my character, which is basically the aura again. I've noticed I killed 7,000 with uh, Arthur, right? Was it 7,000 Arthur? I don't remember. He's a close combat specialist. Big boy sword. I like his walking a lot more. The other one really does look weird. Says Red pointed it out. No levels, I, uh... Alright, using my car automatically. It's fine. Just gonna try to get that crystal early so we can get a free level up. Sweet! Alright, we get murder. Bloody murder! Wait! It's the same exact fucking map between North District and the other one. The fuck? <laughs> no difference at all. What's the point? Different starting area? 10% chance on weapon hit to unleash a piercing arcane sword attack uh, dealing 50% weapon damage. Uh, Sure, let's go with Camelot Justice that improves my uh, main weapon hit. Minotaur Slam. Knockback enemies dealing 40% collision damage and weapon knockback is increased. I want huge AoE. Increase the base power for all attack abilities by 15. We'll go with the power upgrade for this. I don't see any rerolls. Finish 15 stages? Lamel? <laughs> Are these like different like uh, starting zones or some sort? Now I'm just one tapping them. Damn, that, that base power upgrade is actually carrying this run. What the fuck? What's up, Red Pill? Good morning, dude. You get the uh, money. Good tag. 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 Yo, boys, we, we one tapping. We bitch slapping. With the one tapping. Oh, never mind. No more one tap. Spoke too soon. Oh, I'm liking that piercing thing coming out. That's a car upgrade, by the way. Technically a car upgrade that goes towards your main character. 
That could be my anti-boss if I don't die again. Listen, guys, it, it wasn't because of a skill issue, okay? It was because uh, it was unintended. More, more than unintended, there's, there's a lot of enemies on the map, and I, I can't dodge everything. All right? It makes sense. Attack's too fast. My reaction skills are, what the fuck? That's a new mob. Wait, that's a new enemy. Never seen him before. Damn, he's tanky as fuck. He looked like some kind of sweet assassin. Heroes Might, Ymir's Howl. Ymir's Howl is good. We're going to go with Heroes Might too. Uh, I might skip Ymir's Howl and go for Rujin Area, but we're going to go with Wrath of the Olympus first. Fuck yeah. Some big dick damage here. Hello, Amperfell. Oh my Hello, god. Hello, Mr. Rice. I've had a bad week, and the only thing cheering me up is seeing you stream today. I'm sorry that so you have a bad weekend. Clap that neck skin for me, and <laughs> show me how that neck double chin goes fl 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 mm? in the wind. Like that? My god, my life can go to shit, and still I will feel better knowing I could be your dumb ass. Streaming <laughs> to these Bollywood back alley trash games to these degenerates in the chat. <laughs> I hope you have a better Fair week, enough. dude. Go fuck yourself. Hope you have a better week, man. Hope it always gets better for everybody else whenever you have a bad time. Fuck you? Fuck me? No, fuck you. Wait, no, no, no fucking. No fucking. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. I was choking because of the stench of fucking Amperfeld entering the uh, domain. More Wrath of Olympus? Hey, it's time to bleed, baby. Bleeding time. Bollywood back alley trash game that killed me. <laughs> Yo, these games are fun. I like reactive build systems, okay? This game actually has a pretty interactive synergy system so far. It may not look like it at first, but you just need meta a little bit of meta progression to get some synergies. All right, look, look man. Look how, look how fast the thing is dying to my bleed. I'm King Arthur, for Christ's sake. Yo, this game reminds me of Fate Stay, for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, if you guys ever watched the anime. Just because, you know, legendary heroes. Reincarnation, reincarn reincarnation of legendary heroes. Thank you for your kinder words, strangers. The fuck even is this shit? This is, it's a survivor game. With cars. You transform into a car. You, you, you choose a legendary hero, and each legendary hero has their own unique car design. And then you transform into... <laughs> Does it make any sense? No. Is it fun? I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I like I like the fact that there's um quite a bit of game designs behind uh what we're, we're we're looking at so far. Primarily the fact that you know we 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 have enemies with actual attack mechanics instead of running into an enemy and taking damage. Thank the fucking god there's a game like this. There's another game like this. Two. The build design has been relatively creative so far. I know some of them looks like the same exact shit that you see in a vampire survivor game, like Garlic, for example. So some of them actually looks, it could be a little bit Hades inspired. Too little cool, to be honest. I think it's like $11 or some shit. Maybe like 10. No, I think it's eight. I didn't really check the price, I forgot. I had to check the price, Lamo. Oh, Ambush. Easy clap, I love Ambush. Ambush is one of my favorites. Oh, we got a couple levels. Give me a second, boys. Excalibur's Might. Exchange, uh, extend the Excalibur range into a powerful slash. I need attack speed for this thing. Ymir's Howl. Turkilian, uh Effort. Let's go with Heroes Might. Upgrade again. There's Thunderbolt. Vishnu Charm. Attack Realm. I want to skip the Chak Realm. I don't know if you want to go for Ymir's Howl again. Let's try out Thunderbolt. Nah. I don't know if Thunderbolt's going to be good. You know what? Let's try it out. I don't think Thunderbolt's good, though. Lightning crashes increase the chance to multicast an additional Thunderbolt by 100%. Dude, say no more. It just hits one mob. You better be one tapping him, though. Where's my one tap, bro? Where's my one tap? 699. Nice. Yeah, I, I still I, I still hope you have like a better uh, week, Amberfell. Hopefully things just get better overall. Hey, look on the bright side, though. I may have a double chin, but I did 15 sit-ups today. Let's fucking go. We got 14 sit-ups. And then my abs cramped. <laughs> I 
This game looks fun. Well, what's up, Chopper? How's it going, bro? This game looks fun. Well, if you like some good old Survivor games, I would probably highly recommend this game. Not even sponsored, by the way. Somebody just decided to give the game for me for free. Uh, Thunderbolt. 105% damage this time. Increase the base power. There it is. You want to try to focus on those because that's a, that's a lot of base damage. All right. Is that main boss? I think we have one more mission to do before we move to the next area. Dude, I'm doing significantly even more damage compared to last time. It's fucking nice. I like this build a lot. 15? No, I did. Was it four? No, I stopped at four. I had to stop at 14. Because he was crampy during the 14. I was like, no, I got to stop. I got to stop. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> To give you a raise on your sponsorship listen that raise only matter if i sell all 50 the, the i have 50 limits a limit of 50 sales to be free shipping so if i can get 50 sales then i get a raise all right so uh, help, help me out guys come on I, I know you guys want some mad dog dude i've been feeling so goddamn good this week it shows <laughs> the mad dog no 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 added caffeine too from like uh g fuel or anything yeah, 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 your, your dick grows bigger. Exactly. You should buy some mad dongs to get a bigger dick. Bigger dick, bigger brain? Or just both. Why not? Not really a bigger dick, though. I don't want a false advertiser. <laughs> Dwarven Realm level 700 went never. I'll never do it. You never, you, you can't make me. I haven't really been playing games off stream, bro. Might actually run today. Might. Shark and turret. Tenta slash. Last time I had enemy every second. Oh, with the tenta lash. It looks cool. Did I just ram that drone? Get the fuck out of the way then, idiot. Don't stay on the road. Wrath of Olympus. More bleed? Dude, say no. More. We'd really be fucking carrying this run though. Look at that lash. Is it only going from one side? Can I can I aim it? Nope, you can't aim it. Unlucky. Sorry, did I do that? Oh man, guys, you didn't see that. All right, no witnesses. I just rear-ended something. Bro, I'm gonna get sued! Nah, Mad, Mad Monk has been extremely life-changing for me at the moment. I think I'm just lacking sleep today. Just because, well, I couldn't sleep yesterday. I drank a little bit of beer because I wanted to sleep. And then I drank, uh, then I took, like, a uh, sleeping aid and I definitely couldn't sleep. <laughs> I was like, damn, what's going on? Why, why can't I sleep? <laughs> But yeah, Mad, Mad, Mad Monk has been extremely wonderful to me. I'm liking it a lot. This kill's been sponsored by fucking Mad Monk, baby! Get the fuck out of here! Ow. Listen, the reason why I took that hit was because of Mad Monk. Yep, that's right, guys. Read it and weep. We took that hit because we... We took some Mad Monk. Look at this, boys. Damn. Fuck. Can you stop stomping? Oh my god. Alright, uh... I think we need to do a tactical retreat, guys. Any heals? Any heals? Any heals? Where's the heals? Who the fuck fights this guy on a bridge, bro? What kind of arena is this? Let's go for the stop. Let's go for the stop. Where's my heals? I'm supposed to run over stuff while healing. Oh, yeah, level up. Give me a second. Excalibur's Might. I'm gonna go with Excalibur's Might. That's a bigger AoE. Wrath, another Wrath of Olympus. Okay, okay. Transforming into car because maybe it'll, maybe it'll heal me. He healed me a little bit. I think it's because I'm running over stuff. No, I don't think that's the case. The fuck out of the way then. Oh my god, I thought I was out. See, guys, the reason why I didn't die there is because Mad Monk, baby. Chat, chat, yo, yo. Mad Monk resurrected me there, right? Thank you, Mad Monk, for keeping giving me another life. Say look at that shit. <laughs> Damn it, I'm not getting fucking Wukong now. It's all your fault. Why'd you distract me, Amperfell? It's all your fault, man. I might as well just restart. <laughs> get some of that mad dog down your throat. Oh, just in time for the car. Okay, so you need it. You can't use the car to tank hits. I want to kill this boss. I'm just gonna fucking kill myself. Which we're trying to unlock Wukong after all. It's rather unfortunate.
I do like doing fucking damage. I need damage. What do I do no damage now? What what happened? What happened? Where did my DPS go? What did I do wrong? That is a lot of shit. Holy fuck, what is going on, man? I might just die to this boss, too. Dude, this is such a bad spot to fight a boss. Who knows this? You know, I'm starting to think that that ice thing did a lot more damage than I think it did. Or the arrows. Maybe it's the arrows. Fuck, I hate this boss, man. I hate it. Mad dog down your throat and fill your belly? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't, I don't need to drink the, the bad dog green. Not, now you're making me say mad dog. Are you happy with what you did? Are you guys satisfied now? Increase weapon damage by 20%. I'm gonna go with Hero Smite. Divine Win, Starfield, Arrow, check them. No rerolls. Unlucky. Ooh, divine wind wasn't really that good. We'll go with the arrows. But I gotta leave anyways, because I, I did die. I gotta let them kill me. All right, we'll just let them kill me. Turn my back towards my enemies. Oh, you guys have fun? What the, what the fuck? Oh, they're dying to my other skills. Can I just leave? Do I get my med progression? I don't think we do. We just leave our game. Oh, I should grab this crystal first. Before we die. Might go back for the shield lady. Arthur's okay ish, but he's not like absolutely amazing. The shield was a lot more effective. Yeah, we got the crystal. Ship bomb, Scalibur's might. What's up, sis? Good morning, bro. Might just need to uh, spawn this first boss and just sit on top of him. Oh, we can try that knockback build now, too. Lightning really fucking suck, dude. Alright, destroy supply lines. Hi, uh... Oh, oh, oh! I can die here. Kill me. Finish me. Finish me. Shoot me. What are you even dying to? He's dying to bleed. Wait, no, no, no. Stop pressing shift, idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill me. There we go. We wanted to die because I already lost a life. I'm trying to get Wukong, so we need to survive to the third map without dying. So Excalibur's might did 162 damage. Wait. Heroes might did 45 DPS? Is it because he's AoE? I guess it's because he's AoE. That would, that would make a lot of sense. Hmm. That was his basic attack. Uh. Shift form. Oh yeah. Right, right, right. So how many? How many? What well, upgrades we up? God damn it! I have the sound thing up. The keyboard sound. I don't know why this keyboard comes with the sound shit. Oh no! It just came up again. Please go away. Shoo! 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 Thank you. All right. Upgrades. I only got one crystal, so how do we get? We got we did we did grab, grab both the crystals, right? We did grab the both crystals, but we only got one. Is it based off of objectives? I think you have to finish objectives before you fight the boss to get another crystal. Then hero base power by three per upgrade up to three. Increase the size of attack by five percent. Increase uh, unlock the recovery gift that increase the effectiveness of health pickups. Is there a reset option? There is. I can reset if I want to. Hmm. Skipping car upgrades. Increase on foot speed by one. That would be nice. Might go for base attack upgrade here. All right, try again. I'm gonna go with Shield Lady. I like Shield Lady a lot more. I can't wait to see the dwarf, dude. The dwarf is a brawler. <laughs> Yo, he has gold chain on his beard. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> so, okay, so they both have 14 power. 
This guy has less weapon damage. I guess it makes sense for her to have more weapon damage and attack speed. Just because she's not AoE. Oh, it is what it is. Maybe I should have uh, spotted the North District. That's, that's a lot closer to the crystals. Wait, this is a different map. I think. Might be a different map. Maybe not. Feels like a different map now. Oh, it is a different map. Excuse me. Coming through. Yoinky yoink. Alright, Rujin Orum. Ymir's Helm. Increased weapon damage by 20%. I'm gonna go with Rujin Aura again. Just so we can kill, like, the smaller mobs. So we can grind levels. Turbo Blade, Tentalash. Unlucky. We didn't get the fucking shield upgrade. Uh, let's go Tentalashing. This could be a really nice uh, arena up here. Temporarily, that is. Gotta love one shield bounce. We need more shields. How would I get more shields? Yeah, pretty good killing power so far this early on. We didn't unlock any new celestial powers. We should probably look around for more EXP that's sitting around. There might be one over here in this parking lot. I just can't get over the way she walks, man. <laughs> Nothing here. Well, this is a good uh, grinding spot then. Until we get our first objectives. Oh, we got an extra level. Rujin or Ymir's Hell, Starfire Arrow. We can use Starfire Arrow to kill bosses. So we can do a Rujin Aura and a Starfire Fire Arrow build. I think we're going to go ahead and grab both. Hmm. And we'll focus on those two as tall and then probably get weapon damage here. Is my game dying? Wait. What, what are my, why is my frames at 40? <laughs> Guys, my frame's at 40 now. Fuck! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. We got big bad. This memory leak. I found memory leak for the game already. You're welcome. That's a pretty bad memory leak. I'm about to restart my game real quick. Oh, that's right. We don't really have AOE skills. The fuck is this game? What's up, Dark? How's it going, dude? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm already about to die. God damn it. What is this game? It's another survivor game. It's modern fucking uh, Greek mythology. Actually, no. Not typically just Greek mythology. We're playing Athena right now. We have Arthur, we have King Arthur, Sun Wukong, uh, they're just different mythologies. This build does, like, no damage. That's your certain D, uh, general, though. She does, like, no damage. You just gotta let her cook. My game is lagging, though, so I might actually have to leave, yo. Okay, we're gonna have to leave this. Full, do a full game reset. That was a weird memory leak thing. <clears throat> Give me a second. What's this game called again? Champion... Champion Drift? Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Champion Shift. Yeah, so the main, like, uh... How do, how do I explain this game to him? You play as a god in a, mod in a modern world, and then you change into a car. You choose a build, you kill stuff, do missions, kill stuff, get meta progression, kill stuff, and then, uh... You typically just change into a car as well <laughs> in the middle of your playstyle, all right? It's two different characters you can play as Athena. Or, oh, sorry, early on you play as Arthur, and then you can choose to play Athena later. I think we're supposed to go to the bottom right. Yeah, basically trans uh, Transformers, mythology Transformers. Yes, can't be went all the way around there. That build sucks ass though. We don't have enough AOE. I think we were supposed to choose a different skill, like, maybe probably, like, the chill skill. I think the chill skill did a lot more early on. 
All right, it's the lash, failing socks, doppler discus. So I think I get two more disc. Thunderbolt, Chakram, unlucky. Every third attack is empowered to deal 150 damage. I'm gonna go with Hero's Might. Hero's Might definitely scales super well with the shield so far. Just gotta keep increasing damage, I guess. Yeah, you do play as a hero. You can transform into a car. Give it a little bit of GTA vibe. I don't know if I really need the um, the ore anymore. More heroes might for more damage. Thunderbolt strike strikes a random enemy. Does your mirrors how again? I'm gonna go with heroes might. Bleeds just seems significantly better on a uh, faster projectile type instead of the sword. Plus, bouncing is always fun. <laughs> as long as I'm one tapping, we do need base attack power increase. It's like a little dancer, man. He does that little spin thing too. Like he puts his weapon together and spins it. Deflect this, you filthy casual. <clears throat> Mission available. In the mouth. Let's kill that elite first. I wonder if he gets like a huge amount of EXP. Yeah, my frames are back at 120 just because we started the game. So this game does have significant um uh memory leaks. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Can y'all can y'all chill down? Thunderbolt Starfire Arrow. Uh that's not gonna help. Minotaur slam! Knockback enemy deals 40 collision damage. I should try this. this what, what is collision damage? It is also knockback. So how, how does that work? Do you have to get like close enough? Or does that does that affect my shield? I think that affects my shield. Destroy all threats, please. All right, let's move up here first. Honestly, we probably should go down first. What's up, Zero Zing? How's it going, bro? Good morning. Oh, fuck me, the asshole. I think this game would have uh, ship air combat. It's being a city builder. Oh, fuck the title. Sorry about that. I forgot to change my YouTube title. Give me a second. That's for the other YouTube video. I keep forgetting I have to like, change my, also, my, my, my YouTube uh, live stream, too. Did it not keep the other one? We were only able to play Bulwark for like 30 minutes because it was a demo. Championship. New survivor like. There you go. Done. Dude, do you know how bad YouTube is in terms of titles and then keeping their live stream? I can play three different games for YouTube and I have to end my stream every fucking game. But that fucks up my stream for Twitch. There's no compatibility between YouTube and Twitch here at all. Yeah, we're able to play Bulwark the full version tomorrow, so don't expect the full version today. I got there's an embargo for me, so I can't really stream it. I think I saw someone else play the full version of the game. So wait, how, how does he get the full version? How does that work? Working as intended, you know what, dude. Bull rush every third attack. Let's see, you're killing five enemies within one second. Boost movement and attack speed for three seconds. Increase weapon knockback. Okay, we want that. Wait, that's the synergy for Hero's Might. This Minotaur Slam. I seriously don't know exactly how Minotaur Slam works. Am I knocking back the Elite too? Yeah, we play like three different games already. And you can't change your title for each of them because it, it won't stay for each of the games that we played. It's just not how YouTube works. YouTube's like, oh, there's a live stream, but you can only give it one name. And that's it.
Too bad. <clears throat> Unless there's like a platform that you- Wait, this is the same exact scenario as last time. We fight the fucking Leon the boss, or the bridge, but we're killing him a lot faster this round. Alright, couple levels here. Wrath of Olympus. Now it can cause bleed. That's what we want. Starfire Arrow, Rujan Orum. We can go for a full projectile build now, which is going to be Starfire Arrow. I don't think we need chill. Starfire Arrow is going to be a lot more better for, like, anti-boss technique. Same, uh, makes sense, and it's considered to be one video. Yeah. I mean, it's fine to make it consider. Like, the thing about Twitch is that Twitch has chapters. But their, their chapter system is also ass. <laughs> the chapter system also doesn't update as a chapter, unfortunately. YouTube doesn't even have a chapter system. YouTube's like, everything in one video, good luck. Good luck naming. One well, live stream is just a long video, sure is. Just call it three games, one streamer, one cup. True! You just give it three different names. What if, what if all the game names that we played is just extremely long title? YouTube has a cap limit uh, for your title of 100 characters. Twitch has 140 for your title. <laughs> I mean, 100 characters should be enough. Like, if you type in Bulwark, Chronicle, Falconeer, I think that's like, what, 30 texts? Then the Force Dwarf, 10 text there. This game, it's like another 12, so I guess we can technically fit in all games in that title for that live stream in particular. Right to Yolden. Uh, this is a nice uh, arena. We can fight the boss here if possible. I'll try to be better on both YouTube and Twitch. It's just that it's my first, like, it's, it's been a while, that not a bit a while, but I just got into YouTube streaming. So I'm trying to learn how YouTube exactly works. Take him the fuck out. How many kills we need left? 720. That's almost seven minute mark. Oh, that's a third mission. Never mind. I need to shoot in front of me, too. Uh, destroy portals. Not this again! Upgrade available. Ship bomb. Sonic discus. Uh. On hit, shield has a 15% chance to burst from 50% weapon damage to nearby enemy. That's what we want. So we want a sonic discus, and then doppel discus, so we get more disc. Uh, and then anything that affects my disc build. Uh, which is basically either Wrath of Olympus or Minotaur Slam. We're gonna go with Wrath of Olympus for the extra bleed damage. And then a little bit of Minotaur Slam here. Reckling effort. After a dash, next weapon attack gains 30 knockback and deals 175 weapon damage. Eh, that's kinda big. So, I guess we're going to go with the main attack build now. <clears throat> I just need attack speed. Motherfucker. Such a pain to destroy it. So, it stopped existing. Well, they're just going to keep spawning the portal. One does not simply just destroy a portal. Porto go boom? No, Porto stays. Porto is just black magic, you know? So close yet so far. All right. Next area. Oh. Decided to spawn an, an elite next to me, too. Nice. EXP. Dude, this shield damage is just insane. I'm doing more than Arthur, I think. At least I hope so. And I feel like we have infinite range. So what, what's happening here is that we're using the shield to clear out the map 
And then we're using the arrows specifically to target bosses. So, yeah. Looking pretty good for a build so far. Uh, I think it's to the southwest. Never mind, it's not to the southwest a lot. Asian driver. No, survival. Oh, fuck me in the asshole. It's him again. This fat boy. Good dodge, good dodge. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna swing to the right. Alright, he's gonna do stop. He's gonna do stop attack or laser attack. Nice dodge. Shred his ass. Shred his little bitch ass. Uh, let's get level up first. Turbo, Phalanx Talks. We don't want shield. Unless we want shield. Actually, let's get shield here. And then Thunderbolt, Divine Wind, and Rujin Aura. Ah, oh, man, this is ass, man. I really wish I had a reroll here. Nope, you can't reroll it that way. <laughs> I was gonna open it up. There's like a bug with rerolling. Okay. Um, let's go with Thunderbolt. All right, Thunderbolt will be okay ish. Could be a finisher. I hardly even knew. Ran into a fucking rocket launcher there. Meant to become a car. Is he trying to run from me? Coward. Oh my god. Okay, I can't, I can't die here. I can't die yet. Alright, we, we got EXP. So fucking random. All my damage is just gone all of a sudden. Don't want to be the end of the laser. Okay, we got health. Nice, nice. Probably take some hits. I don't know how to get hit by that fucking skill. I'm not doing a lot of damage as I would hope. That was so random. Come on, bleed. Clap the bleeds. Clap the bleeds. I need bleed procs more than ever. Dodge a little bit too early. He's so close, dude. He's so close. Come on. So fucking close. Finish him. Fucking finish him. Easy fucking clap, boys. All right, a little bit of car vehicle driving around for EXP. Very good. Uh, lacking some good RTS to play. Tab StarCraft 2 doesn't cut anymore. I hope Stormgate has some fun co-op with solo mode. It's going to start. So the thing about Stormgate is that. What's up, Solastera? Stormgate is going to start off as a PvP game, I think. I'm pretty sure it will start off with a PvP game. I don't know how their campaign's going to look like. Unfortunately, like competitive games, I only like competitive shooters, not strat games. Same. Competitive RTS is typically a uh, risk breaker for me in particular. Always will be. Weapon strikes have a 20% chance of causing enemies to explode. <laughs> okay. Enemies to explode? Dude, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh, that was reverence. God damn it. We should have picked that too. All right, there's a level up there. RTS has been extremely slow development. There's there's plenty. I think my next uh, RTS game that I'm looking forward to that's primarily single player is going to be Dustfront RTS. Dustfront RTS. Definitely look that up whenever you get the chance. It's one of my favorites. It's, a, it's another, not a survival RTS, but it is a single player RTS game though. You play as an empire, you're fighting against like uh, some kind of like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's some weird enemy entities. It's different factions too. Highly recommended. It has lots of artillery. <laughs> There's a faction with artillery. That's what caught my eye just with the game. Damn. All right. The damage is just cooking with the shield so far. We didn't get a single base damage upgrade. I find that kind of weird. 
I really need base damage upgrade for my shield. So we get better multiplier perks. So what, that's what went well with Astaroth. Oh, not Astaroth. Oh, fucking you. <laughs> now your name's confusing me. Arthur. Need more Supreme Commander RTS? Well, you have Bar beyond all reason. You have Supreme Commander. You have, like, the Supreme Commander Return or whatever the fuck again. You have Planetary Annihilation. Um, what other games are there? Total Annihilation. There's a game called Industrial Annihilation that's coming out soon. Not soon, but it's in development right now. It's basically Factory with, um, Factorial. There's Automation with RTS vibes. Uh, but Supreme Commander definitely has been one of the best RTS games to play out there. One of my favorites. Of course, there's not a lot of games like it either. Uh, dude, what's that one other game with bots? Like, they have Dreadnoughts as your, like, main character. Not main characters, but, like, heroes. Yeah, you have Dreadnoughts. Um, let me missile Aftershock. On shifting L, add hood and mounted rock as a home or target. I'm gonna go with Aftershock. Because I'm using my uh, car to just, like, get around the area, I guess. Bull rush. Oops. A non-linear campaign. I hope it's done well since the, uh, that can backfire. A non-linear campaign. Are we talking about Dust RTS? Have you ever played Emperor Battle for Dune before? Very uh, similar concept there. Yeah. I hope that doesn't backfire either. They they would have to like deal with good meta progression for a non-linear uh, campaign. I don't know, man. RTS campaign can be significantly different, difficult if you can't do it right. Look at Age of Darkness, for example. Hot garbage. <laughs> Age of Darkness, bad campaign. The only thing that was good about their Billions campaign was that um, some of the survival mode was good. Some of the survivor uh, colony mode, whatever the fuck, was good. Outpost defense was shit. Uh, hero mode was good on the first run, but it was absolutely shit. But the meta progression from Dare Billions was absolutely phenomenal. That was the only thing that saved the uh, the campaign for them, was because of the meta progression in the tech tree. You ever played Dune Spice War? I played Dune Spice War when I was on front page for Twitch. The game was honestly not that fun. It wasn't my type of jam. When I play RTS, I prefer City Builder RTS games. missions here. Let's move over to the next mission. Let's not waste too much energy. If we run into enemy, we'll lose energy, so we gotta be careful. Alright, moving across. Damn, look at that fucking jump, baby. Woo! Any heals? Got a couple levels. Caltrops, Turbo Blades. Uh, damn, this is kind of... Uh, let me go with Tenta Slash again. Oh, we got Ad Break again. Stick with Thunderbolt, probably. Let's go with Stick with Thunderbolt. Reverberating Blow. It's also Heroes Might, but we're gonna go with the Blow. Blow me, that is. Ay. More AoE. Starfire Arrow. Let's go with the Roar Burst. But we do have Ad Break, lads. Give me a second. Homeworld 3, but I hope there's no build limit. Dude, I'm not looking forward to Homeworld 3. Never played the other Homeworlds, so I wouldn't understand exactly how Homeworld worked. People always say that Homeworld has been the best RTS, but whenever I look at that game, I'm like, how is it the best RTS? Never played it before. <laughs> Never even had that experience. Man, if there's a game I would like to stream again, it's Dawn of War. Play the campaigns for Dawn of War. Pee-pee shaming ad? Maybe you shave your pee-pee. Command and Conquer, played that over a million times as a kid. Siberian Wars was so good. I had a lot of fun playing Siberian Wars. It's one of my favorites. You got plenty of water. Well, Dawn of War 2 had a completely different system. I think Dawn of War has been my all-time favorite um, RTS back then. God, their campaign was actually fun. See, when you have a campaign like Dawn of War, it was good. The scenarios, the objectives, the story. The same thing with Tiberium Wars. They had a really good campaign module. I like Red Alert 2 the most. I didn't really like Red Alert 3 that much. 
Even though the graphics is cool. I think it's something about like having a resource node and you have to build an extractor next to it or some sort. Whereas in Red Alert 2, you actually send out like mining groups out to like nodes to mine and having to defend them. Something like that that tends to stand out. And then, of course, we don't talk about Dawn of War 3. Never played it, never will. The good old days when the ancient RTS, dude, those were the days and those were the days are over. Oh, yeah, didn't we get a Battlefront um, remastered? Dude, remember good old Battlefront? Oh, man. It's not just like Command and Conquer, fuck most of the later games. It's every game. You don't have the creativity when the game first came out anymore. Say, hey, man, I've been craving tower defense game lately. Ew, Age of Empires, always a classic. Always a fucking classic. And then you play like Asian Empires 4, Asian Empires 3, it's just not the same as Asian Empires 2 and Asian Empires 1. I wish there was more like tower defense type of games, man. Like good ones. A blopper black and white remastered. There are simp. Oh, yeah, true. I never played those. What's what's black and white again? You play as a god, right? You you build. It's technically RTS, but you play as a god. Mix of Sanctum Combat and Maze Building. Have you tried out Mars? Uh, there's a Mars Tower Defense. Mars Z Tower TD or some shit. I don't remember. It's in demo form right now. There's there's a new like Mars Tower Defense game coming in. That might be up your alley. Dungeon Defenders. Oh my god. Zero from YouTube was bringing up tower Dungeon Defenders, dude. I played the fuck out of those games. <laughs> those, those were the good ones. The good old days. Yeah, I mean, they, they have a remastered version for Dungeon Defenders. I didn't really like Dungeon Defenders 2 that much, but Dungeon Defender 2 is a live service type game, though. But Dungeon Defenders 1, man, that, that was insane. That was that was really fun. And of course, you get like, uh, destroy all orcs, some shit, kill all orcs. Orc Slayer 3. Did my, did my stream just crash again? Chad, did my stream just fucking crash again? Don't tell me it just crashed again. Don't tell me, please. Please, please don't tell me it just crashed. Okay, thank you. I just had to connect into Twitch chat uh, thing. What about Endless Dungeon? Never played it. I have the game, but I just played it for a little bit. I was like, eh. If I gave a lot of games like a uh, more time to play, maybe I would have enjoyed it. But like my my uh, my attention span is relatively weak. It's like one of my biggest weaknesses to stream is that my attention span is extremely short. I'll play one game and immediately jump to a different game. Endless Dungeon isn't bad, he says. Is that is Endless Dungeon a tower defense? DDN? What the fuck is DDN? DDN Dungeon Defenders next? Is that what it is? Similar to Bloom CD, how are they scrapped the idea? Oh. Nah, dude. Creeper uh, Creeper's World. Bro. Tower Defense Creeper Creeper's World, bro. That shit was awesome. That was an extremely creative idea for a tower defense game. You're fighting liquid. <laughs> 
It's more of a dungeon crawler. You know what? We need more dungeon crawler games, man. Dungeon crawler with like uh, gear progression. Always would be one of my favorite classics. I mean, we call those ARPGs, obviously, but games like uh, Stone Shard, stuff like that. I don't know. I just want to get that dopamine hit of just hitting dungeons, killing bosses, getting loot, enhancing your character, and just having fun with those type of builds and stuff. Man, we could use more of those. For a roguelike fan, it's a pretty good switch often. I guess so. It keeps the gameplay always fresh. Yeah, dude. That's why I like... Someone told me that... Having a different genre switch would be relatively nice because it keeps you a little bit more focused on that particular game. Uh, one of my friends swapped from playing, like, multiplayer shooters, uh, for example, more towards single-player RPGs and horror games. Just to keep her attention span on a game longer, right? For me, I play a lot of roguelike games now. I used to play a lot of RTS, I used to play a lot of City Builders, and then I swap over to roguelike and I enjoyed every experience so far with roguelike games. But now, the problem with roguelites is that roguelites and roguelikes have extremely short attention span for video games. You're always hopping from one game to the next to make sure that you don't really lose out on content, right? Because there's so many games that's just roguelites, roguelike, but they don't really have the ability to keep you involved with that game for long term compared to like um, single player game. Oh, welcome on over to the, the, the Twitch chat. So I'm from YouTube to Twitch, welcome on over. Uh, let's see the last thing that you said on YouTube. Last dungeon crawler I played was Continent of the Ninth Seal. Bro, that's an MMO. That's a whole different game, bro. <laughs> that's an MMO. I played that game too. Basically, a lower graphic Vindictus. I think ran by the same company. Nexon. The ones we hate the most. Sentry and Outpost Infinity Siege. I have Outpost Infinity Siege on my um, my wish list right now, dude. I really want to play that game. But we're not going to be able to see that game anytime soon. Sentry? I think I got a key for Sentry. I think they reached out to me and I completely forgot about it. Because they're, they're about to release you, and I think they gave me a key. So we're, we're going to head back to that game. I like Tower Defense a lot. Tower Defense actually has a little bit of, like, replay value. Like, games like these, for example, a Survivor game, I, I don't last long with these games. I get bored really quick. That's why you don't see me play it long term. Unless they have, like, really good, uh, outstanding, um, something that I want. In particular, like Death Must Die and Deep Rock Galactic, for example. Right? type of play style brotato those games are more for like long term just because the replayability value is just amazing but this game i can see myself not playing it tomorrow for example i'd rather play something else you better be winning i feel like i'm winning i'm doing a lot of damage this build is actually a fucking clutch build holy shit uh forward guns turbo blade shotgun turret let's go with turbo blade go with a melee car build Starfire arrow upgrade, Herculean effort after a dash. Oh yeah, we're supposed to get this for our main uh, skill. Starfire arrow. Why does Ymir Hal have two skull next to it? What the fuck? Oh no, that's the that's the enemy. Sorry, that's that's the uh, objective. Weapon damage for twenty percent. Increase base power. There it is. Fucking finally. I've been looking all over the place for base power. I don't really see a significant difference in damage with base power increase. So that's hilarious. Damn, both bosses got kind of shredded. But yeah. Um, that's why I'm trying to like look for other genres to play. And that's why I'm really excited to play uh, Bulwark tomorrow. I just wanted to see like what the replayability value of a city builder is. It feels so simplistic yet direct, right? I want to know what the combat feels like. We didn't really get to experience combat for that game in a demo. So we're going to see tomorrow just because of the embargo. Otherwise, I would have been playing it today if I can. Funny how first Dwarf just crashed my stream like it normally does. Every fucking play test I play always crashes my stream. That happened yesterday with Monster Domain. <laughs> Sentry is tomorrow? We're kind of busy tomorrow. I know they gave me a key, but I'm not going to stream it yet. I'm pretty sure they gave me an embargo for tomorrow, too. There's a lot of games that gives me a lot of embargo before I can stream it, of course. Unless you're like a super big streamer. I think the embargo is not really relevant for super big streamers. Because I see, uh, I see Cringer playing Bulwark, and I think he's playing the full version today, so typically speaking, the bigger you are, the less of an embargo meaning to you. <laughs> if you even get an embargo, that is. That's what I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I also did sign up at the last minute, so I, I'm not even fucking complaining. I'm just happy to be able to get a free key for that game tomorrow. 
At least to me, you are? No, nah, dude, there's several big streamers. I can name them. We got Celerity. We got McQueeb. We got Jorbs. Uh, who else we got, bro? We got Lethal Frag. Uh, l let me try to think of the back of my head here. I'm not that big, man. I try to tr improve my content, of course, to make it a little bit more interesting, but it's kind of hard to do with roguelite when you have repetitive gameplay. That's why I like games where you have more of a reactive build. When I say reactive build, you level up, you get to choose a, you know, you, you get to choose synergies like this, for example. Phalanx toss, for example, uh, let's grab that. I don't know what to describe it as, but it deflects projectiles. It's more of like a survivability skill, I guess. I probably should grab at least one point of radiance to get that pierce. And then Minotaur Slam to maximize my uh, uh, basic attack skill. Something like that, for example. But uh, what else is there? There's definitely plenty of people. Cat on Mars. Just thinking. Meaty Hook. I think she's starting to get more into the roguelike genre. Honkai Star Rails, my main games. Do I stop playing Honkai Star Rails? I got tired of fucking doing the, the, the events in that game. It takes so goddamn much time. I hate playing events on mobile games like those. It's like I have to play it. <laughs> That's why I don't play MMOs anymore. Oh, boys, you ready to see some big dick damage? Let's go. Look at his HP get chunked. Is that Elite? I think he's beefy as fuck. Oh, he's going for the laser attack. What are you gonna do? Stompy stomp? Try harder. Give me a second. We're gonna we're gonna have to kill this big boy. Unlock Wukong. Tomorrow I want to play a battle simulator game ish. No, no, we're we're, we're swapping it up. No, it's not Bulwark. We're playing Bulwark tomorrow. Spend an entire stream on that tomorrow, and then maybe after that we'll probably play the battle simulator game that I was given a free key for from the same dev as uh, Siege Warlord. What other streamers are there? That's um roguelike. I, I I try to like look around for a bit and just check them out. I mean, obviously you have some big streamers that come in like occasionally, like Deep Rock Galactic Survivor got really popular, like with Asmin Gold and all them, of course, right? It's Anthony Kong fam, Sacrail. <clears throat> but anybody who focuses more on roguelike games, still thinking. Still thinking hard. Man, if I can't think of that many streamers, there, there's not a lot of roguelike streamers then. Is, is roguelike a dying genre? Is that what you're telling me? Chat. Don't tell me roguelike is a dying genre, just like RTS. <laughs> RTS, in my opinion, still feels like a dying genre. Of course, of course, you have Age of Empires carrying the fucking genre. But that's Age of Empires too, bro. Huh, I didn't get hit by it. Is it was it because I was underneath the laser? I think it's because I was underneath the laser. Why do I keep fighting Fat Boy? Why, why can't we just swap up the bosses? I feel like the boss is kind of bugged up a bit. Or does it depend on like the uh, enemy, or not the enemy, but the starting zone that you pick? Ad average of 20 minutes a day. Yeah, I mean, I played Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Things like Nikki. Oh my God, it just took half my HP. Okay, I can't die here. I really can't die here. That, that laser caught me off guard. He, he hit me off screen. I need health. How am I going to get healthier? Okay, we pick up a little bit of health. Stop Let me focus a little bit. Yo, what's up, CK? How's it going, bro? Good morning. Like he's a dying genre. Nah. This has been on life support for 25 years, so nothing. <laughs> life support? Yeah, you true. True, dude. It's holding on to life, bro. It's just that nobody wants to spend time to learn a game that takes forever to learn, right? We're, we're, we're coming to an age that we have a lot of nine to five workers now, right? So if, you, if you're nine to five worker, like nobody's going to play video games in the long term. I mean, you have a couple, obviously, that's willing to do it, but not a lot of people do that shit anymore. Hell, they don't even have time to play games even. That's why RTS is one of those games that requires an extremely amount of time to actually learn the mechanic of the game. And then you're not going to be able to, well, learn if you don't really have the time for it. 
You just have hardcore players like myself, for example, who only stream all day, and touch himself all night, um, play video games to be able to play RTS. But definitely not your average workers. Hell. Most of the people who play RTS are the the, the people who, who are around my gen, gen Ys. Generation Y. <laughs> we were kids. We have all the time we want to play RTS. City builders, all that type of stuff. We're dying out, boys. Woo! We love dying out. This guy takes fucking forever to kill. Give me a second. I'm just ranting while we're doing this at the same time. What's up, CKO? Uh, we tried out Bulwark earlier in case you missed it, by the way. We tried it out earlier today, and then um, I got a key from the devs literally earlier today. Woohoo. Uh, but I have an embargo on it, so I can't stream it until tomorrow. Also, still woohoo. I like the game so far. I kind of want to see more of it. What I don't like is how linear that city builder is. I like complex city builders. A lot. I really like complex city builders. Thought I was going to hit by that. I'm surprised it didn't. Bro, he's like shooting missiles from far away. To play my favorite games. You exa ex well, I mean, yeah, exactly. You don't have time because you're always spending your time to work, not, not play video games. Hell, when I was fucking working 9 to 5, I didn't really have much time to stream or play video games. Good game. All right, we made it to third map, boys. We got ourselves a new character. Let's fucking go. All right, let's catch up with chat here real quick. You got a good free to play team on Honkai and then got bored too. Well, I got, I just, I just roll, I just, I just like, um, I just summon Fox Girls and I stop playing. <laughs> I, I go in, summon Fox Girls, like, oh shit, I did it in 110 summons. Let's fucking go. And then I just stop playing. We got Hoo Hoo, we got Yukong, we got uh, Ting Yin. Ting Young, the Fox Girl Dream, you know. Played a much HSR daily, average twenty minutes per day. I'd say we still got variety streamer overlapping in any shape because there's so many rogue. Like there is. I mean, I am a variety streamer myself. I guess. Nikki, yeah, I know what game you mean. I so quit it after an hour. I play it because my friends play it. That's about it. I don't even really want to play it that much. DD Devs made Dungeon Defender going rogue. What does that do? It's a roguelike game, not a good one in my opinion, so don't touch it. Got it. There, uh, there was that new Age of Empires I didn't bother trying because I knew it suck and don't uh, like to suck at games. Dude, there's a, there was a lot of Age, Age of Empires clone. Hell, they're making an Age of Mythology remastered. Eight minutes or less videos. True, that too. And then, you know, you have to like games like Fortnite shooters and generals are the ones that are relatively quick to play. Have much choice, XD rather than time. Wait, what do you mean by choice? Is it because... Well, then again, yeah, I guess. That too. There, there's a lot of factors of why RTS is always in a, you know, flat line or a downhill. There's there's a lot of factors, but it's just not 9 to 5 only. There's like factors like these other games are a lot easier to make. They're more popular with the current generation, which is one of them. Uh, right? So that's why RTS game... An RTS game just takes a long ass time to make right. I mean, look at Age of Darkness. Look at Age of Darkness. Look at um, Alien Marauders. Look at... There's, there's a lot of games out there. What's up, Troy? How's it going, dude? How do you gem Dark Crack and TFR, C-Star, I mean? I don't even play that fucking game anymore. You think I fucking remember that shit? That's a Monster League... Uh, Monster Super League shit. Um, yeah. So, what were we talking about for... <laughs> I, 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 I swapped my mind focus there. Uh... Yeah, yeah, so the games I just mentioned, Age of Darkness, Alien Marauders, Diplomacy is not an issue. Nobody plays those fucking games anymore. I mean, there, there's there's still a small average player base, kind of similar to, uh, not as much as uh, their billions, obviously, but the player base is just significantly low when you look at the player base for every other game. You have, like, League of Legends, which is easier to learn, Dota 2, uh, for example. I just like the roguelike games. Well, I like games with meta progression. Something that makes me feel like I'm actually progressing through the game feels good. Because it's where new game devs can also show some of their work too. Hell, if I was a game dev, if I was going to move into game devving, I would be making a roguelike first, obviously. It's like the easiest to make. It's the easiest to make. It's easiest to learn. And when I say learn, it's not necessarily easy to make a good roguelike game. That's never... Really a thing, because you have so many problems you have to solve to make a good game. But it's one of the easiest to understand basic skill like programming, linking, and of course artwork. Graphic designing, right? You gotta start somewhere, and roguelike is typically the genre for it. Hey, to the third map, boys. We got Sun Wukong. Let's fucking go. Also, level up. 
Sonic Discus. Let's go with Starfire Arrow. For Reckling Effort, we, do we, we dash a lot. <laughs> Minotaur Slam? Let's go with Minotaur Slam there. Going super tall with my build so far. Let's go get that crystal, baby. Yeah. These type of games that I play, unless they have a really good meta progression system, for example, like Death Must Die, where you grind for gear, yo, I, I can deal with it because I love gear. I love gear because I can build my character with gear, uh... As you build, as your, as your main meta progression. I like it. That's why I was looking at the other game, that, that, that one game we were looking on stream earlier, the, the Chinese Moon Rune looking one. Uh, I thought it was really interesting. And also there's waifus. Obviously waifus. I'm going to be real honest with you. When I look at the characters in this game, I thought the archers looked cute, but the theme looks ugly as fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Gives me a lot of cyberpunk vibe or some shit. I don't know. I'm not really a cyberpunk type of guy. So I think it looks ugly as fuck. Still needs to get 10,000 kills, so we're going to keep playing, obviously. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. She does look pretty fucking ugly. And the way she walked pisses me off. <laughs> Since Red mentioned it, I wasn't even paying attention to the way she walked until now. Ambush! Oh, extermination? They're right on top of each other? Three bosses at once? Dude, don't throw me with a good time. I could petition that, but whatever. Oh, wow, what a shot. Got fucking diapers. Uh. But the game average is like one to five player base I'm trying to have multiplayer but it crashes after like three map runs i played it with a dev we could never beat a full run all right that's a dev problem then see that's their problem for balancing issue remember when you have roguelike roguelike and roguelites are there to make you feel good in a video game if you can't fucking fix that issue of making you feel good during a video during a run there's an issue of course, there's some roguelikes and road lights are extremely punishing and it works out for uh, works out well in the end. It just depends on how you reward them after the punishment system. Skill is your thing. You play with no skill, but if you play an expert, you feel like you went on a uh, one on one with a pro. Exactly. Exactly. Look at Tarkov. Head eye somebody. Bam. You kill the Giga Chab. He's dead with a little shitty Makarov or some shit. <laughs> Comes in with um, no face helmet. But comes in with a U-lock, uh, some beefed out M4, and you just head tap him with a fucking pistol. Easy clap. Probably stop starving myself and grab food, enjoy gaming around, go get some food, dude. Death Must Die was really fun. One of my favorites. That's why I'm looking forward to, like, not Nimrod. I think Nimrod definitely uh, fits in the feels good genre. The meta progression in that game is a little bit weird, but it unlocks more modules for you to experiment around with. Uh, so I'm waiting for, like, Nimrod's release. Evil Chromosome 2 release. Wonder if the devs fixed fix the pathing uh, a bit. Evil Chromosome 2. Did, did we play that after like Dune Spice War? Is it? It's, is it still top down? I don't like the graphics that much. So check your six. How's it going, dude? Good morning. Rogue like lights makes you want to bash your head into a wall, but when you beat a level, you get a huge dopamine rush. Yeah, exactly. That's how you're supposed to. That, that's how you're supposed to play a rogue like or lights. You're supposed to get dopamine rush. They're there for quick dopamine rush. It's not supposed to last forever. That's why these games don't really have good... They're not good for attention span. I want to play a game like fucking Stalker, for example, on stream, but I never really got the chance. That's why I always tell people I'm so tired of playing Survivor games because it's always the same exact shit over and over and over again. It's the same exact shit. Unless there's like, I don't know, something that just feels good. I don't even feel that good playing this bounce build, even though I'm killing stuff. You, the reason why is because I play it so much. <laughs> I need a break from this genre. I keep playing it. Why do you think I played Power for a whole month and a half? I had a fucking blast with that game. Like, it was awesome. I would I would have definitely spent more time on Hell uh, Hell Divers if I could. Fucking love Hell Divers. You played the first one. What's the difference between the first and the second one, by the way? What's up, Ragnos? Hope you're doing well. Good morning. Get the morning, get the morning, get the morning. Destroy all threats. Oh, I've been just grinding here. My bad. Uh, let's go. Sonus Discus upgrade. Power upgrade. Okay, more flat damage for us. And then, um, lightning cr <gasps> crash. This 
It's more like... Right now, when I play these type of games, I'm just there to advertise. That's it. I just advertise the game now. See if people like it or not. People don't like it. It is what it is. Move to a different game. Yada, yada. But, man, I just... I, just, I, I want to spend some time just playing a game to actually enjoy it. But I can't do that with a survivor game anymore. <laughs> Speaking of, look forward to a, no, a, a new Soulstone Survivor update, by the way. We got a new character. Woo! <laughs> Woo! We got a new character for Soulstone Survivor, boys. Let's fucking go. Woo! I'm a family. What's up, vibes? How's it going, bro? Good morning. Welcome to the stream. It's always nice to watch VTubers. Sometimes they enjoy like other games. I've been I've been studying a lot of VTubers and how they interact with people. I've been trying to like cop mimic them. <laughs> Of course, I still talk shit to my own chat. It's typically how it works around here. We talk shit to each other, we enjoy ourselves in a little bit of timey time, you know what I'm saying? Brad Allen from Gales has played too many copy pasta again, but there's not a lot of games that just keeps you full folks, and if there are, well, there's a lot of people playing it for a reason. It's just that sometimes, like, I would love to play some Dragon's Dogma, for example, but my, I don't think my PC is going to be able to handle it. I would definitely love to play some Dragon's Dogma. To me, the hardest roguelike survivor I tried was that one called Time Survivor. I have that game, two. never really gave it a underscore chance. Two. Underscore two. Underscore Not surprised two. it has one of the worst reviews underscore for these type of games, two. I think. Underscore two. Underscore, underscore two. two. Yeah. Underscore two. Well, that's because it's underscore like, two. imagine, underscore dude, that's the same thing for the uh, the Fellowship, that underscore one game with two. gear system, but you, you run a party. Underscore you have a party two. system. I, the devs two. told me, underscore like, two. The devs told me that he wanted to make a hardcore game for hardcore play, and I just straight up tell him, you're not going to have a lot of players. Good luck. Your game is destined to fail if you just focus on a hardcore game for hardcore players. It's just not how it works for a roguelike game. You want to make a hardcore game, fucking make soul likes then, instead. Fortunately, your game is not a soul like, it's a survivor like. And survival like is a dopamine hit. It's supposed to make it where you feel good with your build. And if you're saying what you're saying with Time Survivor, where if your build just doesn't feel that good or you're just always like failing, uh, you're not gonna have a good game. If you don't have that type of progression, don't ever make a hardcore game for Survivor game. You're, you're, you're <laughs> it's just not how it works, man. I, I don't know if there's any games out there that's just relatively difficult. I don't know if there is. Can somebody name some that does well? Sorry, I gotta put that in too, just in case somebody decide like, Oh yeah, they made it survive- Oh my sweet baby fucking Jesus, all oh Christ. I'm saying Survivor-like, by the way, not Hades. Not, not a game like Hades. Weapon Strikes have a 50% chance to cast Thunderbolt on a target. Ooh. Oh, another one. 75% area too. Oh my God. Minotaur Slam. I'm gonna go with Herculean Effort. Just gonna have to dodge force. I keep I keep pressing shift. I keep I keep thinking shift was dodge. Dragon's Dogma 2 is really fun. Yeah, I would love to play it too. Oh my god. Typically speaking, I already understand that I take viewership hit from those games, so who gives a fuck? I play Power World. I took a viewership hit for that game. And I had a fucking blast. I'm just looking for games I can spend more than fucking one day on. <laughs> it's much easier for me to make content for those type of games. It's because they're just there to... I don't know. If I'm having fun, I guess, would be the type of uh, style to say. If I'm having fun with the game, it's easier to make content for those type of games. Uh, I want to try Dark and Dawson 2, but I haven't had the chance. Highly recommend it. My computer, I don't think I can run it. I don't even think I can run it off stream. I still need to replace my thermal plate. <laughs> I significantly need to replace my thermal base, but taxes gotta go first, boys. I gotta do taxes. Is there, is there a way for me to just do it myself? Don't worry, I didn't make that much money. It's fine. It should be easy. We should have to give him, like, information, too, while we're at it. Thunderbolt, Wrath of Olympus. Go with Wrath of Olympus build here. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate never played it. I guess Baldur's Gate's 3. It's turn-based for me, so I don't I don't like turn-based game. You, you, you already know exactly how it works with me. I tried out Slice and Dice. Never, I fucking hated playing that game. 
I hated playing it. I didn't mind streaming it. It was a fun streamable experience because there was a lot of things to like talk about and a lot of things to just, you know, make content out of. Uh, it is just, you know, butt clenching as fuck. But God, I hated that game, dude. It was not fun. I fuck. It's just I hate turn base. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You could not get me to like turn base. It's just not how it works. Sure, there's some turn based game that I fucking enjoy. There, there is, yes. But games like Slice and Dice, fuck that shit. I'm sorry, man. Cuphead! That's a front soft game. That's a soul. Wasn't that a soul like? Pretty sure that was a soul like type of game too, right? It was just relatively difficult. But the thing is, you're 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 losing because yeah, I don't know. You just fucking suck ass. Everything is dodgeable. <laughs> also, there's not a build system for Cuphead, so I don't I don't know about that part. Uh, I don't know if there's a build system. Is there a build system for Cuphead? Never played the game. Never was interested. I uh, don't. I uh, can't think of a hardcore roguelike survivor that worked well. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not supposed to work. That's not the point of playing a roguelite, roguelike, or a survivor-like. Typically, more towards survival-like. Sometimes it works for roguelike. You just gotta do it correctly. I don't know if Darkest Dungeon, for example, is counted as like roguelike or survivor-like. Uh, not survival-like, obviously, but it's like roguelites-ish. I know Darkest Dungeon Two was, but it, people were saying it's not as good as Darkest Dungeon One because they completely revamped the game uh, style. Having fun, taxes, hey, Lamel. Yeah, I gotta do taxes. I gotta do my TXs. Pick up the paperwork at the post office tax or turbo tax. Well, I don't want them to do it for me. I want to do it online. Is there a way to do it online? I'm pretty sure you can do it online. Is for the king? Well, my favorite is Stone Shard and uh, Subterrain. What's the uh, Minds of Titan? That, that's my favorite. Subterrain Minds of Titan was a good one. One of my favorites. I just don't like, uh, actually, I don't mind a difficulty increase just because of the infection level. I don't think it's that bad. Um, I actually have another playthrough, and you know what's funny? Those brutal guys, those those big buff guys, the uh, the brutes, they haven't spawned for me yet on the next playthrough. Why? Because I didn't do, I didn't do side quests. I do side quests along the way. Hell, you know what else I do? I just set up turrets, and I just go AFK. I go back into the mines and just let the turrets deal with the, the, the waves. You don't have to be there. Oh, but on my next playthrough. I've already killed that same boss that we fought against. <laughs> In one day. Of play. In Subterrain, uh, Mines of Titan. Let's go Heroes of Might. Mm. I'm gonna go with arrows for the, uh, explosive arrows. Yeah, Subterrain was a fun experience. If I ever come back to that game and stream it again, I'll probably just go off of the run that I have right now. I'm taking a pause in the game, though. I don't really play games off I try not to play games off stream anymore. I try to work on myself more often. Like, hell, I'm, I, I, I really want to run today. Go out and run today. Did you finish it? Never finished it. Never finished. What the fuck? How do you get up there? Where am I? Oh, there it is. Uh, hello? Am I just stuck? Wait, what? What the- Huh? Hello there, boys! I'm back! Uh-oh. A lot of charger type mobs now. Open damage increased by 20%. Say no more, bro. It's time for stonks. You don't live in the right state to file directly with the IRS? Oh. All right, well, I'll just try to use a program. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't really be doing taxes this last minute, dude. Because the, the deadline is April 15th. <laughs> oh, God, we're so close. Oh, God. There's a website that my mom sent me that I can probably do it, uh, and I don't, I don't know. Or I go to the HR hub and pay, like, 200 bucks for that shit. Fire your taxes directly IRS for free if you live in one of the 12 pilot states, which is not Kansas. Unlucky. Very unlucky. You, you know a build is brain dead as fuck when you're just watching, just reading chat while playing the game at the same- Bro, what?! Why you didn't even let me revive?! What do you mean?! On shift in, Athena releases spread of shield around her. 
Oh, cool. Did I let me revive? I had to revive! Um. Only turn game on like kindness for the king. I already read that. I wish Stone Shard was better. I feel like if man, now that, now that I think about it, I feel like I can I really want to try to make a game, but it takes so much time and pressure. Time pressure, and then there's money pressure for it to make in the game. Like if there was a game that I want to make first now, because I think it's so easy not relatively easy, there's a lot of like technical difficulties and also problems to solve, is like a zombie survival stone shard. Bro. And of course, there's some kind of lore that gives you magical power that further enhances your skill, right? Is Cliff worthy content? Well, does anybody got a clippy clip? Side bounce and blasted cannons that fire upon enemies every second. I need more bounce stuff, dude. <gasps> there's Wukong! We got a boy! He's the Monkey King! Woo! <laughs> it's me! Oh! 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 Yo, we got the waifu! Let's go! Damn, yeah! She is yeah! Oh my god, lady! You can't dress like that, alright? What? <laughs> what would you ask, Gathery? God fucking damn it, dude. God damn it, Quizio. She is. She is so fucking gap, man. <laughs> uh, alright. Let's see if we can take a look at our upgrades. It's got three crystals, dude. It takes fucking forever to get crystals in this goddamn game. Lock the ability to revive on an additional time per run. You didn't even let me use my last revive. What's the point of having this then? Increase foot speed by one. I'll take that. What is this? Unlock the crit chance gift that increases the chance of scoring a critical hit. Increase base vehicle max speed by six. You can increase the base max speed of the vehicle too? Damn, that thing costs two. Critical strike chance. Oh yeah, is there any like regen? I think we need regen. Base knockback by one, max speed gift that increases the vehicle maximum speed, collision damage, base max speed of four, increase base health by 200, max 600. Mm. Lock the recovery gift that, uh, gift that increases the, effective, the effectiveness of health pickup, effectiveness of health pickup, base stat, increase effect duration by 5%, unlock the armor gift that reduces the amount of damage received. That's a good one. I still got scammed, though. I still got hella scammed. But yeah, this, this is a uh, fuck, dude. It takes forever to go through the meta progression tree. It takes like 30, like, I get three crystal every 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's, that's why I'm tired of playing these games. It's just, it's, it's like a long investment time that I'm just not willing to give. Ever. Now, should they change the game because I complain about it? Fuck no. That's how these games are supposed to work. I'm just tired of it. That's just me being tired of it. Who gives a fuck? Um... Lock the luck gift that increases the chance of activating on hit effects. Ooh, so that's what luck does. Sucks is suck. How about you? I suck you. I suck you for the buck. Come over here. You bastard. Your ADHD really restrict uh, you from enjoying those slow turn games. It does. It does. Well, the thing is, my Mad Muck, it allows me to get through Slice and Dice. I don't know. I think I was, I was doing fine with Slice and Dice. I just I just like to see results. And if results doesn't happen, then I just don't play. Uh, Threaten me with a good time again. I see it's always a good time, bro. Always. But I just don't like turn-based games in general. I, I've never liked it when I was young. I never liked it when I'm here. I am whatever the fuck, dude. Never liked it. It's something that you have to grow up with, kind of, or enjoy. Or you have simultaneously turn, which I'd rather have. Listen, when I played the last spell, the only thing that felt good in that game was the fact that I was murdering shit left and right and just murdering them, not allowing them to get get, get their turn to walk around. And then having to wait for them to do their, like, turn. Well, actually, no. The reason why the last spell was so fucking fun is because everything moved at the same time during their turn. No, they move at the same time. They all attack at the same time. That, that was fine. And then you have games like XCOM. You have to wait for everybody to finish their turn. And it just goes back to you. You're like, oh, God, dude. Another reason why I don't play Civ. <laughs> you wait for other factions to do their turn. You just sit there like. It's just how it works. 
But I'm glad that you did show me Bulwark. I saw that you showed the other game. I just ignored it because I, I looked at the Steam page and I was like, oh, it's another save game. Never looking at it. <laughs> but you showed me Bulwark. I asked them for a key. They gave me a key. We stream that tomorrow. Um, what time is it right now? Oh, fuck. It's 2 p.m. Mm, it's plenty of time for me to run around a little bit and just do some push-ups. Yeah, I want to spend more time after the stream just working out a little bit more. Probably ask my uh, roommate for his like weight so I can do a little biceps curls and whatnot. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream for today, guys. Tomorrow, I am going to be playing Bulwark. We're probably going to do a full stream of Bulwark. Uh, Falconer's Chronicle tomorrow. It's, it's that city builder that we played earlier today. It's just at the... I don't know. Like, there's there's an embargo until 9 a.m. in the morning. Maybe I'll just... May, maybe I'll just, like, um, wait until 9 a.m. That means I can sleep pretty late today. I don't want to sleep late today. I want to I want to do early streams again. I'm tired of fucking waking up super late. <laughs> waking up, up at 7 instead of uh, 5 a.m. in the morning. 9 a.m. EST, uh, 9 a.m. CST, so it's like, what, 11 a.m. for you? 11 a.m. for EST. Yeah, I can't stream it tomorrow until 9 a.m. CST. So we're just going to wait for that. If I want to, I guess I can play a game or just do a just chat before stream. Uh, then we'll just look around for games, I guess. Just chill for a bit. Um, but yeah, then we'll move over to Bulwark, of course. We can probably do something like that, sure, why not? But otherwise, guys, I hope you guys have an enjoyable evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some Bulwark of Falconer's Chronicles, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night, guys. I don't want to play top. Sorry, I'm just so lazy to play it, man. Clip that last karmic encounter, too. Yo, bro, if you want to slap that in my Discord, go for it. Of course, if you guys like the stream, go and hit that little follow button. I enjoyed the Discord. If you want to know when I go live, there's that little Discord link. If you want to slap that little clip in there, if you want to, that is. Otherwise, I'll just look for it and probably feature it if it was that funny. Anyways, I appreciate the uh, follow Dreadful and uh, a Genie MP. And also CK Hawk with the 40 months, by the way. 40 years with that long, continuous support. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for that resub. 40 fucking years. Goddamn. Drop KK Lee in there with three years as well. Technically three months. I just converted to years if you guys don't know. Uh, but yeah, three years with Drop KK Lee in with that resub with the Prime. I appreciate it, brother. And Code Dude with the biddies. Super Venors with the uh, follow as well. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for supporting the, today's stream. And tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get a much better stream with some more Bulwark. At least we get the full version this time, and I can get some uh, get some genocide going, if you know what I mean. But yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night, guys. Thank you so much for watching on this wonderful Monday. And of course, we're going to end the stream with a raid. Try to raid as much as possible here, guys. Let's take a little looky look. Who the fuck's mentioning me right now? Step it. No mentioning. Step it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a raid. I've been watching a lot of VTubers, so I might as just like I, I'm, I'm trying to like raid more of people that's in like the double digits here. Um, so my Twitch is fucking bugged. Let's take a little looky look. I mean, we got another. Yo, there's another roguelike streamer right here, SD89. I'll send you guys over to SD89. He streams a lot of roguelike too. I forgot to mention him. Another uh, roguelike streamer there. Give him a little check out. He's playing some Wizards 2 at the moment, or whatever the fuck it's called. Riff Wizard 2. Riff Wizard, you're Wizard Harry. You're a Wizard Harry. You are a Wizard. But, anyways, catch you guys later. I appreciate you guys for being here. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with some more city builders. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.